Hello, everybody. Hello. I guess technically that's good afternoon for me. I love this monster. Just uh, making sure all the audio is fine here. As is tradition, I decide to try to make a thousand changes right before stream. Because I, I, I do things a little better under pressure. Fine Saturday. I um guess I'll flip over to uh, the in-game audio here. Or my audio. Could you tell me uh oh, that's not what I wanted. Windows set up for this. Everybody's having a, a good Saturday. It's um, it's been very wet here. We finally had snow and uh, started getting a little bit of it, and then all, all of a sudden, boom, started turning into rain because it's getting a little warm. So all this snow plus the immediate rain just means just pure chaos. Um, because the ground's still frozen, so we have a lot of flooding in my area. Which is always a concern for me, because I live in a basement. Um, thankfully, I, I live in a new construction, so flooding's not an issue where I am. Uh, but, in the hallway beside my apartment, it just looks like a mess. Your chaotic mess. Um, so while I'm setting this up just for, for everybody else that's maybe going to either pop in live or who ends up watching this uh, post-stream, uh, welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, always kind of you to uh, add a like, comment, you know, do that whole nice thing. I guess you could subscribe to something that they recommend. <laughs> may have not have fully thought out this idea I had, don't worry. Just means I'll make it better for next time. Anyways, I uh, hope everyone's doing a lovely time. I'm going to crack open the editor here and then we're going to get going in, in my little intro and then we'll start with uh, what we decided to do um, 
last stream too, which I I did like that idea. So I think I think we'll continue it on. Shading on for you guys. So, transition for me. Okay. Kind of situated here. Just going to wait for the scene to transition for you guys at live just so I know it's working beautiful. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, I was going to try to. I don't think I could do this in five seconds, so I might not. I was going to add a um, keyboard uh, command so you can actually see what I'm pressing uh, during this, but I'm going to get that done next time because uh, I have to download some plugins. So obviously that's not going to work while I'm streaming here. So um, anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to another Saturday. Uh, every Saturday, unless I change the date uh, for some other thing I'm doing, uh, we uh, play some Duke Nukem 3D uh, with, with a kind of like a side... Uh, goal, side mission, if you will, where the intention here is um, I'm trying to slowly, very, very slowly, uh, based on my ADD riddled brain, which makes me do too many things at once. Uh, so everything is slow moving progress. I am trying to learn how to make my own levels uh, for Duke Duke 3D just to kind of cherry pick my childhood and um, do something I, I never was able to do when I was growing up. And so I wanted to, one day I'll have something new to show you guys, uh, but I wanted to be able to see if I could use this channel as a way to track my progress, uh, get some help from other people that are in the community, uh, maybe give me some pointers. And it's kind of evolved over time where now what one of the things we do as well is we actually do some Let's Plays, which is what we're gonna do today as well where we play through some Duke Nukem 3D user maps. Uh, most of them I've never played in my life uh, to get some inspiration for things that we're working on, things that we're doing, um, but also to show you guys, the community, not only people who make maps yourselves, which some people in the chat are, but for people that are maybe interested or aspiring to see what other people have created, uh, to know what you can do with the level editor, which is currently what I'm in now. So this is Mapster 32. Um, so this is the level editor included with the eduke 32 source port, uh, which is how I personally am running uh, Duke Nukem 3D, which is an old 90s uh, first person shooter on modern hardware, but it's got a lot of enhancements and bells and whistles. So it kind of updates that engine into a more modern engine. Doesn't mean you're gonna start to see giant 3D characters or things like Unreal Engine. Um, but it, it, it allows us to do a lot more with it than what we could back in the day. Um, and it's a, still a viable way to make stuff, uh, whether that just be levels, if you want to make a full game, you want to make a total conversion, not just for Duke Nukem. This is used for other games like uh, Blood from the 90s, Shadow Warrior, modern ones like uh, Ion Fury. Is that one? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Um, I always get mixed up because they change the name. No, Ion Fury is the newer one that they're making. Ion Maiden? No, it's not called Iron Maiden. I don't know. What are the ones? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Iron Fury. Um, 
but there there's other retro games like most people point to doom or classic doom would be the more current example because not everybody's actually going to know what doom is anymore um but the idea is it's i just think it's a fun hobby to also pick up on and especially if you're maybe interested in this kind of stuff or game design is uh at all it's a nice little introduction just to kind of dip your toes in into something that you're actually just capable of doing on your own you don't need a huge team to do it um so everything i'm kind of working on i'm, I'm working on my own so for example i'm going to show this this is i haven't worked on this in a very long while so just because of the the holidays that we went through for christmas and now i'm trying to do some enhancements for a bunch of stuff uh, i haven't been able to work on my own level in a little bit but that doesn't mean I've been banded by any means. So let's crack this open. Maybe I'll, no, I'll do this one. Um, so this is some stuff that I've been dabbling in with my level editor. It started uh, life as an Ion Maiden and then they changed it to Ion Freak. Yeah, I know it was because of a legal issue with the name change. I, I know that was it. So this is just some stuff that I'm, I've been playing around with uh, for my own level. I have two kind of levels I'm working on right now. Like, I, I don't want to say like serious levels, but ideas. So this was the first one, um, not this section. This is just like a little apartment complex where I'm making things out of sprites um, and sectors. And I'll kind of explain this a little briefly. It's not really meant to be a tutorial stream per se, um, because I'm by no means an expert at what I'm doing at all. But, you know, that's kind of the point. And so you can kind of get an idea of what you could do. Uh, so this is my idea of making a little, a little, not an apartment complex, maybe a condo uh, complex with these little doors. I'm just playing around with some ideas. These are all sprites, so um, not actual geometry. And then you have your little city area that I'm working on, which is the main one. Uh, the only idea is I, I just never really thought about gameplay design, like what I'm going to do. In each like how i'm going to go from this sector to this section which is one of the reasons i, I kind of started working on another map where this is more of just design focus just to make something look pretty uh with no intention of how it's going to play and i'm slowly adding stuff like that to it and then now i'm making a map where i'm, I'm kind of maybe focusing more on, on gameplay first so i can play with some ideas of uh, what more the uh, the editor can can do um but yeah, yeah, so this is my first little thing I'm working on. And it's still a work in progress. I'm still kind of working on it. Built this little car. Um, and there's some stuff that I've learned along the way for optimization where maybe I shouldn't have done certain things a certain way. Maybe I went a little too overkill on certain areas. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff I could actually simplify and design. Like even this area, which we've, we've done a few streams, not a ton, where we've actually, we built this area first. This is using... Um, something called true room over room so the way to think about duke nickel 3d and again for a lot of people in chat already you already know this because a lot of people do actually make levels but since we do want to encourage other people to join in um, it's good for them to know you know so uh the way to think about this game engine which is the build engine is you have to think about it like a sheet of paper anything you can draw on a sheet of paper on like overhead view if you want to think about it like that is what you can make as a level this is how the doom was made as well so you would be able to draw it out kind of like a i guess maybe dungeons and dragons would be a good comparison i know people make maps for that like the board game or do you even call it a board game i've never actually i played it once i think um so I, I just i'm trying to think of modern references even though that's not really modern that people would understand but the idea is if you could draw it you can make it in a way um, however, that means there's going to be limitations because if you're drawing a, an overhead view of something, well, realistically, if you're going to draw maybe a second floor, that means you'd be drawing over top of that floor you just drew. Well, that means you won't see it. So that means it can't really exist. And that's the limitations of 2.5D engines like this, where if I want a second floor above this, this is like a bank room that we're thinking about doing, like a vault, uh, there's the bank tellers and I'd have a second floor office. Well, you wouldn't be able to have that because I, I can't go underneath here and also be on be able to go on top of here using this kind of engine. However, there's some tricks where we could do it. So that's where we can kind of sandwich 
two pieces of paper. I'm going to use this paper analogy a lot. Uh, together to kind of trick us as the player into thinking something's above. And that's what I did here. So this is true room of room. So this is another piece of paper if you want to think about it above here where I drew this section. I drew a cutout and they are connected in the level editor. So they're, they do look like it's 3D, but it, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's an illusion, a trick, if you will. But you can go from there to up here and it, it does interact. There's limitations. There's advantages to doing stuff like this. Uh, but there's also other ways you can do this. So uh, I actually rebuilt, well, not one to one, but I went and redid this air map right here. Um, and this is not using room over room. So this is me building the same kind of thing, but I'm using sprites, which are what we use for the characters, the enemies, things like that, to give the player the, like stairs, things to walk on. So now, again, I have the illusion of having a room on top of another room. Again, there's going to be pros to this. There's going to be cons. Um, I know the AI is the big one. So if you have enemies, because they don't understand that I'm actually on a second floor right here, they'll still be able to see me, if like, to the best of my understanding. So they'll still act like I'm right beside them, even if they're right below me, right? So you have to kind of design stuff according to that. And there's some um, levels that we've been playing on this, which strictly use stuff like this, no room over room, um, and or just old school techniques where they, they don't even do that. They just do classic, like just basic. Um, I don't want to say basic because they could be fancy designs. And, and the, kind of the beauty of it is a lot of the times it's hard to tell. Once you get kind of good at it, was this a room over room? Was this a sprite base? And that flexibility of what you can do and that creativity is really interesting. So, um, that's one of the things that we're exploring here too. When we're playing the levels that we're playing through, it's not just a blind let's play just to have fun, though we are. It's also to kind of look at it from uh, an editing point of view, knowing that we're building our own stuff here as well. Um, and seeing what kind of interesting ways or things that they're doing to uh, maybe cheat the system, come up with new ideas and things of that nature. So uh, the main map of the day, same main map we actually have a bunch of maps today but like the one that's featured in the thumbnail um is wet dry world so that's based on super mario 64 and uh, i don't i've not played all of 60 uh, super mario 64 so i have i don't know if i actually know this stage that's based off of even when i looked at a picture of it but this is not necessarily focused on design uh it's focused on just kind of really matching that that simplified aesthetic of do of nuke sorry of uh n64 uh both sprites and tror is the key yes both have their own place both are necessary yeah they all have their pros and cons they all have their purposes and knowing how to use both is kind of key and and that's the thing i i didn't understand when i started like how useful even sprites would be but that's because one of the things that modern um hardware allows us to do is have way higher sprite limits than back in the day so we actually can use this completely differently than how it would have been used back in the day they did use some sprite bridges back then but it we can use it way more intensely um but there's also drawbacks to that as well so uh the the main map is is going to be using heavy trore which is the other area that we had here this this area very heavy use of that to so it, it's one of those things that at least based on the past maps we played through for, by that author they they will look simple but when you know how the sauce is made it's it becomes more impressive um from that perspective it'll be a cold day in hell i go anywhere near the Troy system i too stuck in my ways from the way build games did it yeah and there's nothing wrong with that i don't really think one way is better than the other like, I'll, we'll play uh, Leadsborn's maps, which are heavy Troy maps, and they're so impressive. But then we'll play CK3D's maps, no Troy whatsoever. And I completely believe to use Troy for so many maps. So that's the beauty is, is you don't have to use one or the other. In fact, you could do something completely different if you wanted. It, it's, it's the idea that you just have these options available and it's how your imagination lets you use them, um, which is so far the part I'm kind of struggling with, is just figuring out, okay, um, I mentioned this before too, what, like for me, 
you don't have to do like it's non-euclidean is it you don't have to do realistic spaces like you don't have to make it so this room is proper size it matches up it would make sense that this room or this apartment is in this apartment complex like i could make that room a lot longer than it needs to be just from a gameplay perspective and so allowing your mind to break out of that logical barrier where everything has to be one for one um, is pretty freeing and it uh, allows you to do some amazing cool things i'm still struggling with that part but the idea is through playing everybody's work here it's it's been a really eye-opening on, on just how impressive and uh, imaginative people can be um, now for the mapster 32 the only other thing i kind of want to point out is i don't use stock mapster 32 um, not that I, I feel you need to change it either. So I have some modifications to the default texture, which is normally like a little brick wall. I, I can do some shading stuff here. So there's some light add-ons. I keep mentioning this. I'm going to eventually do like a little introduction video or tutorial just to kind of go over some extra things that people could add if they wanted to, um, and as well as how to just play Duke for based on some requests I got. Uh, since not everybody's familiar with source ports and things like that. So what we're going to do now, just for the little bit to give some time for people to kind of funnel in here, uh, and as well as to keep it focused on what we're doing is, we started a uh, map here last stream just to show how to kind of build stuff. Is it called, what am I? Is, is that what it is? No. Uh, a cold stream map and we're going to keep yeah stream board this is it so this is something we built last saturday we were just playing around with the editor um, showing it off and how to work so we built this last stream and i think what we're going to do moving forward is at the beginning of every stream we're going to map for a little bit maybe 30 40 minutes or so again to give people some time to funnel in but also to slowly uh show an evolution of something as we go along and uh, play around with um, maybe some ideas that we come up with so what what are we going to do today like what, what are we going to enhance like we started working on a second floor here but i'm going to be honest i i don't think we're really ready for a second floor yet i did this just to show the capabilities of it but if we're going to start thinking about this like a, um, a community build if you want to think about it like that but more so i guess community involvement uh let's still focus on maybe one building ish right so still this apartment but maybe think about what else we want to do with it so because of that maybe we want to go a little bigger so i'm going to turn off the textures here again uh, i'm going to get a an overlay for you guys so for people unfamiliar with the editors you can kind of see the buttons that i'm pressing but at the same time also i'm going to admit I don't remember half the buttons I'm pressing. So a lot of it's just me pressing random buttons, trying to remember which one's the right one. Um, and that's okay. So we got a little thing here. We got our little parallaxed area. So I like the, I'm gonna bring up our grid size here. And we, we kind of did shut off this window, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of these sprites for the time being. Uh, so I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm just clicking the right mouse button and then I'm holding alt Which is sprites only and that's what you see there and I'm gonna click that and I'm just gonna delete all these guys Actually I'll probably just do this Just to give us a little place I'll, I'll leave the Liz trooper in here though One thing that puts the me off chore is that the areas have to be above each other in blood They can be anywhere uh, always not include stuff in, in the third dimension. That's okay, partially blunts. Muscle memory. Yeah, so that was actually how I was under the impression um, Duke Nukem 3D also did it. Only because I remember when I was dabbling in um, the level editor, and then years later I came back to it a little bit because I was working on uh, something for, not like I was involved in the development of it, but I was working on something for Deadly Kiss, which was like a canceled expansion pack for Shadow Warrior. And I had to play in the SW build, which is their version of Mapster 32 uh, catered towards Shadow Warrior. And when I was in that, that's when I saw how they did Chore. 
And I, I was in the impression that was just how Duke Nukem did it as well. That's actually one of the things I wish Duke Nukem had. I, I kind of wish it, it didn't have to occupy the same space. I don't know if I can, it would, there's a way to make it, um, I don't mean like where it has to be in a separate area, but one of the problems when it is in the same space, it, it, I can't, I don't feel like I can do things that are as non-Euclidean because of that. Um, so I have to think of a different way to do it, like teleports or things like that. And I, I wish that was something that they could backdate. Maybe they can. Because boy, boy howdy, that would change things. I would even be more free. Um, so these guys, I think they're 40 is the size of a in-game. I kind of like to make all the sprites match what they would in game just for, for visual reference. So I'm going to use this guy kind of like a... Actually moves the sectors to others at map start. Uh, Duke does the SE40 in some ports. Handles more like blood, but it's pretty broken. Um, so what we're going to do is here, we're going to get rid of this first floor as well. We're gonna delete these. And just for now, we're gonna delete this bezel that we added as well. And we're gonna delete this. So control D, I think it is. Yeah, so control D, delete that sector. D, D on the keyboard just to delete these points on the map. And then, um, yeah, I just wanna join these guys up here. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so now we got a our, our cleanish map. Um, so what we'll do? Oops, we joined the wrong sector, which has caused this to go a little haywire. So we're gonna match this up to what is this here? Cage down and up raises and lowers things, and I'm holding control to raise it and lower at a set point. Uh, the tip that I was I was told about was if you do uh, control and I page up or down four times, that's the size of Duke, like that's his height, if I understand correctly. So it's a good idea. Perspective here. So let's see. I don't know how I feel about this as a, a grass texture. There's another one I uh, that I think is more grassy. I'm going to try to not get as caught up on on the actual textures because that's where I kind of get lost in my own thing, which is half the fun, mind you. But for like the purposes of the stream, we're gonna go a little little different here. Uh, so we're going to do, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go stock texture for this guy. I know it feels like we're undoing all the work we did. Because we are. Um, but only because now we're going to actually try to design this with more intent here. So I'm gonna kind of square this away. It's kind of an unnecessary to do, but go in here and we're gonna see, I was thinking about a lobby, right? So if we're thinking about this like a lobby, we're gonna, I, I might want a little bit more room. So let's focus on the inside area. And by doing that, we're gonna use this bigger grid size. And we're going to use that as our our kind of main sizing point here. I'm going to want. Um, I was thinking maybe maybe we even do like an apart. If it was if we're thinking about a store, 
you know how we have those mixed developments. You have, you have retail space on the bottom and then apartments on top. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, maybe like not quite a mall, but maybe maybe a mall-ish area. A little, little one. So we're gonna drag this guy out too. Bring this out. The actual end map's probably not gonna be this big. We're gonna focus on, uh, maybe it will, who knows? Maybe this will ironically be my actual first map I'll finish, is the one we do on stream. Uh, let's do four, let's do six. Yeah, let's try, I just wanna see, feel that layer space. And then we got this. We're not going to leave these textures here. We're going to actually, you know what? Bring this just for sizing. I just got to remember is this 64? This is, there we go. Yeah, if we put that on, yeah, that makes sense. So we got this. How do we want to play with space here? So we would come in. This would be a regular door if we're doing a retail space, right? So we would have something a little bit more different. We probably have something more elaborate. I don't know if we want to start pulling reference images yet. Um, I was thinking of a water feature too. So if we did like a water feature, maybe in the middle. We'll do it uh, a four. Right now we're gonna try to just stick to the big grid size. And we're gonna Alt S, I believe. Yeah, just to turn this into a sector. So if you have like, these white walls are what, what you think of it is as a barrier. So that's your wall wall. That's your hard limit. Where these red lines here are, they're still sectors, but what you call them like intersectors, I guess. Uh, where they're something you can actually manipulate. So I could change just the shading of this, right? I'm scrolling up and down just to change that. Uh, we're gonna leave everything at default here. I could change just the texture of this. So that's how you kind of make things. There's gonna be limits on how much you can use walls and sectors. Not that we're probably gonna get anywhere close to that limit. It's pretty, pretty hard, but. So right now we're just gonna add this default water texture. Um, just cause I'm thinking, I'm thinking of a little water feature here. And if we did think about a water feature, it may be a little bit up, right? Not, not a big up. A big up here, yeah, do that. And then we'll decide how, how I want to add maybe like a one of these guys. Are these not animated? Yeah, this is the one I want. I'm going to have to shrink my grid with a G just to get it centered here. I don't know if I'm using the right texture for this one. I feel like I want to lower it. Yeah. And then we're going to do... So you'd walk in here. This would be a much bigger entrance. So we're going to delete this door. We don't really need it. This would be a bigger entrance. Uh, we're going to get rid of this walkway as well for now. Up that grid size again. Because if we're thinking about this like a, like a mallish area, right? So you'd walk in here.
what would we do? So we come in here, you gotta have like a little, make it like a store area. I kind of like this height, maybe. So maybe still stick with a double height for the retail spaces. And then we could do... Uh, little... Let's do this. Just to see how this will look. Mark that. I want to do the same on this side. That's not what I want to do. So I'm going to do the same on this side. Because I want to see spacing. So now these are both selected, so I can modify one and it'll modify the other. So one, two, three, four. Maybe one, two. And then we would do little little panels. Yeah, for now we're gonna do this too. We're just gonna have everything default texture for the ground. It's harder for the walls because they, they can get adjusted where this is always a fixed size. You have two sizes to choose from. Um, or, hey, it would be great if there's more flexibility, but at the same time, it kind of makes it easy for me to see how things are going to work. Uh, and then we're going to do, let's, for, for now, what we're going to do is mask this. So mask by pressing M. So now what we're doing is putting something kind of fake there. So we're going to change this to glass. Now I'm going to do, what one do I want? We can do glass, glass, but at the same time, I kind of like this, and then we do it transparency. So let's do that for now. Though I might change that as well. And this one will do a hard what we'll do is we'll do a hard limit here. So we'll make this an actual wall. And we'll delete it. So now it's an actual wall. Like it's a little thick, but you know, for the purpose of what we're doing, we're gonna we're gonna be fine. Now we could block this. We could make this breakable as well if we wanted to. We're gonna block it. We're gonna completely blocking off for now because we're thinking this is like a little storefront. So like, let's maybe pull up a. want to look at uh, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to pull up some reference images. Now I like to kind of use stuff from the 90s as a point of reference when I'm looking at builds only because Duke Nukem was made in the 90s, right? And so a lot of the textures are based on 90s like that are already included or already taken from the 90s. So it's a good point of reference, but also Duke Nukem's in this weird future. I like to think about it kind of like Robocop where Robocop was built in the 80s, but even though it's it's not necessarily, it never says it's in the future. It also doesn't always look like it's in the future. It's like kind of 
retro future almost. I, I don't know how to describe it. Where it's not it's not quite futuristic, but it's got little nods to it. Um, and that's kind of how I view Duke Nukem as well. So we're not necessarily building a mall mall. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just getting the pictures together. Don't worry. I just got three. Okay. So here's some um, reference pictures I just pulled here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly it. It's like an alternate present. Um, so here's some retro. This is the 90s mall. I don't know where, where this is. I just pulled up some random ones. Um, so we got this that we could pull from. We got this guy to pull from. We got these little brick. Each one's a little, a little different. Your neon. I like this kind of right here. But maybe what we'll do is this on a corner. Yeah, like a, just with this little pillar here. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna we're gonna do this little pillar guy. So he had we have us here. It was like an angular one. We're not gonna bring this guy out even more. One, two, which means we'll do the same to this. For the time being, we're just gonna we're gonna match everything. Two. I want to make this longer by one, two, three, four. Don't worry about these stretch textures. We'll fix that later. And we're going to build this. Drag this out here. And maybe what I'll do too is. Kind of our our point of reference. Let's do this. Let's save as ref. And then I'm gonna I'm just gonna add something to you here. This is my little reference image. I'm just going to throw this in the corner here, um, just so you guys see it, so I don't have to flip back and forth. We're, we're kind of focusing on this little one that's in the in the top right bottom corner. Hopefully you saw it. I don't know if I did a transition there, um, but that's kind of what I'm I'm using as a reference. I always give you the vibes of the '60s and '70s, but maybe that's because when you look at uh, books about space exploration and moon landings, a lot of the photos are from that period. That That's true. That makes sense. That's my, probably where they pulled the reference to. And also you got, like, I feel once you got past that set period of time, um, space exploration wasn't as, like, it was big in the 90s, I guess, but not like we're going to the moon, we're doing all this. Like, we had the space station, which I, I, I did some, like, reports on and stuff. But the technology itself felt like it just kind of stagnated right because isn't that the issue why we didn't go to the moon is like we lost the technology to do it and we have to rebuild it it's the money or some weird stuff like that so this is like kind of like angular so we're gonna do i'm gonna close this off i don't know why i have to do this all the time because it wants to do that I don't want to. I want to... So he... It's kind of like this. And then... Two, and then this. No, it's more like this. Yeah, yeah. And 
then we have a pillar. And then this, we can delete. So that's kind of our pillar. And then do this. One, two, three, four. Just not worry about these textures yet. So that's kind of the design they had here. And then they have their pillars for the glass. So right now they're gonna be a little a little thick. But that's okay. Uh, you can consider the entire feat of engineering like an art piece. There's only one Mona Lisa, one statue of David. The technology was unique. That's a good point. That's a good way of viewing it. How do we do that? We have the door here. Oh, hell with it. For, for now, let's delete these. I just want to see what these guys look like. So we have pillar, 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 pillar. Like obviously, this is going to be a lot smaller. We want to go with that design. These would be the ones that are masked. So that would be masked. That would be masked. And this would be glass. Uh, and for now, what we'll do is actually we'll, we'll mask this one too, just 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 to see. And then we got. Some glassy boys, not quite flush, right? So you have a little bit of a lip here. And then this would have a lip here if we went deeper, which we will. You know what? We will. One, two, three. And we're going to do that. Insert, insert, do this, this, this. Fill out this area. I still want, this is the one I want to be an intersector, actually. This one, not. So there's your little guys. And then this would be Does that have to be one-to-one. -one. They have it so this and then this is technically glass so they actually have little pillars here which we just won't be able to do with the sizing we're using right now so eventually we'll have to drop down but for now we won't so we'll keep that as is or will we Seeing if I want to. Like that feels a little too big. That feels a little bit right in terms of sizing. But these pillars are obviously way too big. Um, but what I want is this. So you'd have that, that. Um, this is inside i think what we would do is like a little you can't see me drawing on this but we'd have a little walkway here well, let's just do this for now let's let's do this let's raise this guy a little bit we want to raise this floor we want to mask this not with that we want to mask it with the glass I how to paste it with the uh, transparency and everything so I don't have to redo this all the time. Yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to raise this by... We're going to do the same over here. No, this one. One, two... I think that's all I want. Just a, just a little lip. And then... 
these guys aren't flush, so we're going to deselect that one. I'm going to lower this guy here. So now it is flush. And yeah, yeah we're, we're getting somewhere here. We're getting somewhere. And if we wanted to actually really mimic this, we could probably find, we could almost do this one. I'm thinking of using that texture. I know I said I wasn't gonna really get into, into, into texture mode too, too badly, but at the same time, I just don't want the star, so we'd, we'd make it short enough to cut the star out, which is fine. Like, we do that actually now. Oops. Do that to all these guys. Reset that, reset that. What we'll do is move. Kind of would like to, I wonder if I can find a way. No, I can not without including the star. So for now, we're just gonna do this. See how this this plays out. And then they have it uh, something like that. Like really, it's tiles, like black tiles. But I don't know if we're going to be able to. I don't, like, hate that right there. Flip it. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't hate it. Right? I don't hate it. And even here, actually, you know what? Even here... And then we do a different texture here. They have it as a white one. So let's see what kind of white. Can we angle this? There's a. I want to use this. I want something a little more square because it goes good at an angle. We could do. I don't want this being masked. But... Maybe, maybe a little... It's like a... What is this supposed to be? I keep forgetting what it was used for. Like, I always think it's like a bed mattress. Like that, that's what it kind of looks like to me. But I feel like I've seen it, like, what it's used in the game. I don't... It's used for something completely different. Uh, this weird green... It's not gonna work here. I guess we could do that. Could do that, but we're not going to. Not that either. And then meanwhile, what'll happen is like 20 minutes later, like if we kept going, uh, we would end up getting with uh, a complete, change our minds completely. Want. Like, I kind of want this, but this is dark, so I don't really want that. Not that either. With this, for now, 
but I'm probably going to change it later. I'm thinking. No, that's what I want. That's way better. For for at least the the design we're gonna we're going with here. And then what I want to do is do I want to lower this down? Or do I want to keep this there and lower this up? Right? No. We'll keep it. Yeah, we'll do that. And then what we'll do is this will flip. So you don't see the stars. Let's save just just as a, a case. Just as a precaution here. There is a way I could get rid of these stars if I really wanted the, to. Um, I think I, I kind of do like them here, though. Just thinking if I... Uh... Just do I want them at the bottom? We can go middle too. Yeah, for now we're, we'll do it. We'll leave it in the bottom. And we'll reset these guys just to, to make them line up a little bit. This is the stuff that can get lost for hours to doing, just doing weird little tiny changes like that. Um, so we're gonna do with that. We're gonna change this guy to here. We're gonna deal with that later. Right now we're just gonna match these guys up. Move that. Move this. that because there's a way we can do different top and bottom textures so we're probably gonna go that route oops hit the wrong button so that's that that's that that's that Can do some texture fine tuning afterwards. It's so this would be a little door. So they have it so that you you have another pillar, kind of here. Now this might be. We don't want glass boxes. We don't want glass boxes. We're gonna delete that. Gonna delete that. There we go. For now, we're, I don't want to. I don't want to double mask this. No. And I might actually go a different route completely and do individual panes of glass. Get the, I, I just want to get the feel right. That's go. Yeah, that's you know, that's kind of looking like a 
like a like a store, right? And you have this here, this here. I just don't want this would be a lot higher according to what they have here. So what maybe do we want to lower the ceiling? Do we want to lower this? And then make those windows taller. Or do we go completely different? I guess we could maybe go with the stars still. Does anybody did did anybody remember a place called Showcase Video? So there's a. I used to be a. I still. I guess I kind of am. I just like it's it because once you become an adult, and you have all these responsibilities and things you have to do, you you kind of lose a lot of free time you once had. So. Um, that's not what I wanted. Uh, that's one of the problems I end up having myself is I just, there's stuff I, I genuinely still like. I like movies, I like, I like TV shows, but I just never have the time to watch as much as I want to. It's like games. I like playing games as well, but outside of this, these streams on Saturdays, I don't really play as many games as I want, like maybe a little odd tidbits here and there. Um, but yeah, there used to be a place called Showcase Video. Uh, I'm in Canada, so maybe it was a Canada. I don't probably in the States as well, but it's specialized in like selling physical releases of movies and things like that. Um, but it would also carry like unique ones or, or hard to find releases. I loved going there um, for that reason. So this is a little display. And then what, I don't think we can see what kind of tiling they have in here. We're going to go with default tiling. That we were going to go with originally on the. I just want to see if that would look okay. It doesn't. See, this is too dark. I could raise it. I could raise the palette of it. I could change the palette of it to make it brighter. But I don't think this one actually works very well for. Um, floor per se because of the rectangularness of it where's that little tile go uh, you know what see this the one this one reminds me of a I'm trying to find it It's one I had for the originally I was going to use for the ceiling. This would work. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do this. This might work for this one. For what we're kind of going with here. Especially if we're going with showcase like a Hollywood video kind of thing or like a video store type of vibe. Yeah, let's do that. And we're gonna raise this. Do we wanna raise the ceiling? No, we don't wanna raise the ceiling. We do wanna do, we do wanna connect these two together. I do wanna do that. Not that one. No, not that one. I don't wanna connect. I wanna connect these two together. think why did I want to do that so I could do one get rid of this mask and then we can rotate that and we want 
just the star. Not just the star, sorry. We want just this. Boom. Does that feel right? Does that feel right to everybody? Sounds amazing. That's something in that called choices back then. Basically, the same thing as Blockbuster. Super. Yeah, it's it's for the showcase one. It was just it was the fact that they carried like hard to find ones or special editions that you normally wouldn't find in like Walmart or your basic store. Um, I kind of want to lower raise this to. Just a little bit. I, I kind of like that lip. I kind of like a little bit of a lip here, and then you have your ceiling. And because we're because we're a mall, while all the ceilings could be the same, they kind of have the same idea, same vibe. So for now, we're gonna do your basic. No, I don't know if I want that either. I think I want paneling. Do I want paneling? Not like that, I mean like actual panel. I don't know if I want that either. Unmask that. It'll be kind of thing. We'll fix these textures up. I'm still not. I'm still not confident. I, I like where this is going. Um. because I, I still kind of want just blackness like that but I don't want to I don't want to stretch the texture you know so we'll just leave it like that for now I remember play choice rental place a bunch of others yeah like here there was um, there's another one called Hollywood Video uh, which actually existed for a while I didn't know that one I was a huge fan. This is like a Canada only thing, as far as I know. There's a, there is a thing called uh, referred to any of them. There's a place called That's Entertainment. But that there's a, this was a one-off place, and it only existed where where like I kind of live. It, and it closed down recently, within the past like three or four years. They finally decided, you know what, we can't do it anymore. COVID killed them. Um, but granted, they probably would have not lived long. Uh, much longer which is sad because I, I did like it as a concept and it was still they still rented videos but I used to go there and that's actually where I got Duke Nukem I used to rent Duke Nukem the um, kiloton collection you could rent games there and why I didn't just burn a copy back in the day I know you're not supposed to do it but like as a kid where you're like I have no money I feel like that's something I would have would have done but I don't think I understood how to do it and I don't think I had a CD burner until years later so I just rented the, the, the games all the time um so it was sad when that closed but there's a place called jumbo video which their mascot was an elephant and so every time you walked in they had their own popcorn machine like every jumbo video would have their popcorn machine and you you would be able to walk around the store and, and eat popcorn uh, which i i did like you know what i'm looking for i'm looking for like this but there's the, the other one you know like i'm looking i'm looking for the for the other one I thought there was just like a panel too. Like I swear there's just a, like kind of like this, but maybe, maybe I'm thinking this, but this is dark. I thought there was one that was brighter than that. Maybe we'll just do walls. We'll get very artsy and do, do outlets. Um, you know? This is kind of what I'm thinking of.
And then, is this not even size? Maybe if we make it an even size. see the biggest grid size we've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So we need two more. Oops. Oops. Let's take it even. Oh, there's a little guy there. Get a little there. Get a little guy. A little, little dude right there. A little point of that gray tile somewhere. Atomic, I think. I think maybe you're thinking about the one I'm thinking of. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, there's this one. Is this one we're talking about? Well, like, it is that one, but I don't think it's it's what I want either. Let's, let's just stick with this for now. We're going to stick with this. Not what I used here. No, no. I lied. I lied. Changed my mind. Square paving slab. I like this one. Like, is this one we're thinking of? And this, so, just so everybody understands, this is 90% of the time I'm mapping. I sit there and I just I just change the texture of one wall or one ceiling over and over again. Being like, you know what? No, I don't like that. I like this one. I like this one instead. And then what ends up happening is I'll change uh, either, I'll add something in there, like maybe a, a wall, maybe a table. And then instead of like, mm, you know what? That, that ceiling texture doesn't doesn't match up for me anymore. I don't like it anymore. And then I'll spend another 40 minutes checking it, which is why I keep trying to find new ways of designing stuff where I'm less focused on how it looks in the beginning and more of like maybe where I'm going to go, the gameplay of it. Um, maybe I'll just stick with this for now. Somewhere near the grass. Was the grass even in this one? I feel like the grass was not an atomic, was it not? Like, was at least the grass that I'm using. This is like some stuff I'm clicking is because I think that's what it is that you're talking about. I just, I'm kind of, I'm just curious. I am curious. I guess we could just do this. You know what? We're going to leave this for now. We're going to, we're, we're just going to do this. We're going to do this. Um, we're going to do bigger ones. I don't think this area is going to be that big either. So we're going to do that wall. Blum. Blum. And I do want these to stick out, actually. So I do want this to stick out. So if I wanted that to stick out, I'm going to shrink this down. And we'd have to do... Uh, I'm delete that. Right? And then... And then we can do... We'll, we'll, do, we'll focus on like alignment, super focusing on alignment like later, right? Because I'm not uh, confident I'm going to keep this stuff exactly how it is. But yeah, that's like a little storefront. Now, they, they'd probably have more pillars in between because it wouldn't just be a giant glass panel. So if we thought about it like that, this is the middle. What do we got? 372? 372. 
I don't know if I want to... Uh... I want, if I want a middle one. Move this over. Then we'll move this over one as well. And then, we'll do this. Do the same thing to this one. Oops, control D, delete that. Uh, just for fun, you know what? Maybe we'll change, uh, change the sprite for that guy to just the regular window, this one. I don't know how I feel about it. Look at that. Lovely. And then we could do... You know what? We'll do this too. We'll do this on the floor just to separate it. I like these separators. Wasn't that like a George Romero thing where he's like, oh yeah, I always use like a separator of some kind between textures. Uh, normally I'd start the map by way, now by way, but uh, I'm gonna do a brief, brief little break to grab uh, a beverage before we start uh, at the corner store. And my landlord is currently vacuum up, vacuuming the flooding that happened there. So I'm kind of waiting for him to just be done. Uh, normally, I'd have different music playing too, but uh, I keep getting copyright struck every time I do the Duke Nukem music, unfortunately. Or at least the Roland soundtrack, I think it is. Um, so I, I keep trying to find an alternative for the time being. We're going to worry about texture alignment later, and then I immediately start lining textures. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, 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 cool. Like, I think we could even make that longer to make this door shorter if we wanted to, but I think that kind of looks like the reference image we're going with. Again, we're not trying to make a one-for-one. One. Um, so it doesn't have to to completely line up 2876 or 2 sorry what is this 28672 yeah they're the same size it just looks for some reason that looked a little bit lower i kind of want you know leave that there leave that there and then if we're thinking this is like a video store of some kind or a magazine store we can, we can maybe put some um just temporarily, we'll, we'll we'll block out some uh, some racks. Same length. One zero two four. One zero two. Let's 
These are a little thick, I guess, maybe. Maybe that's my issue. Actually, for now, what we'll do is we'll bring them close together just so I can see what they look like here. And we'll do this, this, these like that. And we're going to raise these guys up by one, two, three, four. So that's Duke's jump height. Is that what that is, I believe? That's Duke's jump height, and then we're gonna do... Oh, I guess the water got into the rugs. I kind of tried it. Every, every once in a while, I tell my landlord when there's like stuff coming through the walls, like water, like it, not in my apartment, it's like in my, there's like a walkway to get to my apartment. Um, and then he always gives me an explanation of where it's coming from and why it's happening. I, I don't know if he's trying to do that so I don't get worried, but I also, at the same time, I don't know what he wants me to do with that information, what he tells me. Like, do you, are you, do you, do you not want me to tell you when there's water everywhere, or do you want me to leave you and, like, it's a, it's a surprise? Always throws me off. Um, yeah, not a grocery store. Magazines are in Duke the original, so we'll do that because we can at least pretend for now that we're dealing with, um, what are we doing, what are we doing, where's the, where's the comics, or the porno mags, is that what they are, you know, from uh, Red Light, is that the, the map, the second one? Oh, there it is, right there. So this is kind of what we're thinking. Just for, just for the time being. My landlord, numerous t uh, things for nearly a decade. Generally, the response is ignore it, blame me, and tell me to stick it. Yeah, thankfully my landlord's like not negative like that. Like he, it's, I, I, it's just, it's just I don't understand if he's he's telling me certain things where I'm like, do you just not want me to tell you, right? Like is, is that what I'm supposed to get out this information. Uh, you know what? Well, it's, it's looking pretty cool. Pretty cool. Looking, looking pretty fly. And then we could actually keep these stars there, actually. Right? If, we're, if we end up doing a video store, because it would keep it the theming. I'm like, or we could do wood. Um, so for now, you know what? We'll do this. We'll leave that there. Uh, so this time, I didn't tell my landlord about the water. I didn't at all. I was just like, you know what? Fine. You can find out about it yourself. And now he did, days later. Because I just figured he'd find out about it like the same day. He owns multiple properties, you know? I know the moment I move these guys, this moves too. Like, is there a way to change that? I don't know if anybody knows. Like, if I move this, it'll it'll move the, the texture with it, right? So like this. So I have to readjust all my textures. I don't know if there's a way to stop that from happening. Um, anyways, we're gonna put this in the middle. Like, grid this size a little different, move this middle. We're going to do the same over here. Why? I don't know. Do you like it? Is that reason enough? What's that? 1536? I also wish I could make this font bigger. 1536. Like the little, little text here. Uh, only by applying relatively relativity to the text. Oh, is that what that is? Okay, we'll do that for now. Hey, you know what? Hey. Changing my mind already. Yeah, 
you know, just just to maybe differentiate the colors a little bit more. Um, you'd have that, you'd have that, you'd have some tables, I'm assuming. Like, we could duplicate these, right? So we could duplicate uh, this guy by insert. No. Oh, we gotta highlight it. Why not? I should probably remember to save. My landlord's almost done as well. Um, yeah, there we go. Hmm. I think that's pretty nice for now. That's a pretty good starting point for where we want to be. Um, maybe we'll, I'll, I'll build a little table. You know, just before we we get ready to start the ball on the actual stream stream. Deal in some situations, but uh, find us quick fix here. The texture will always align to the sector's first wall. Press F4 in 2D mode to highlight those with the okay thing. Because there's some stuff like when I do the relativity the relativity, I don't know always what it's doing, but like I know I can make something I want out of it. Like I can make something look the way I want if I just press a bunch of buttons <laughs> enough times. Um, that's kind of what's happening here. Okay, we're gonna change this to a wood texture. So we're going to make a table. I was happy with this choice. One, two, three, four. for this one, so I don't... Could hide it. We'll leave that for now. We're just gonna leave it for now. All right, so we got some tables. Table built. I don't... Well, it doesn't match the aesthetic of what we're probably gonna go with here in this room. And this room's gonna be too big, too. Like, it's this, this is gonna be way too big. So we're gonna shrink this, probably, or change the shape. Like, we could probably... Think about, you know what, we'll do this too. Not that we're going to go in here, but if we have a kind of like a staff section. Six five six 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 six. That's so we have like a staff. I don't know if that's actually really making this much smaller. Maybe maybe. We'll do something like this. Yeah. Because then we could do a door and you, like, not that you would be able to go in here, but if we want to think about it like that, um, we could just <laughs> throw a door on there. Um, where's the door? Realistic, I'd probably put curtains, you know? I'd probably put curtains there. 
That's more of a dressing room thing, I'm thinking, so maybe... I wish they had more doors. Maybe we do have the bathroom door. What's the bathroom door? Like, for the, the use for the stalls. That's not a door, but we could use it as a door. We can use anything as a door. It's just temporary. Probably staring right at it. Is there a way to change? I know there is. Well, maybe I, I, I shouldn't be so cocky about it and think I, there is. Isn't there a way to change the size of the texture previews here? I started looking into that, and then I, then I got distracted. This is what I wanted. This is the one I wanted. Boom. Right, just a door. Now I don't I don't think that's gonna be the wall texture we're gonna use, right? We're gonna probably use a different wall texture in here. Um, like I don't hate this as a idea. But that might be something we figure out next time. Is what we want to use in here as a a wall texture. Because we can have shelves and stuff too, right? So we, we can do more design elements. Especially if we want to do every store a little different. Not that we're going to make this a massive mall. We could. We could just do a mall. Just in general. Um, maybe we'll do this. Rotate it. Uh, does that... Does that door go anywhere or is it just it, right now it's just wall dark right right now what we're doing uh since you've you made it which is good timing i guess i'm glad i have i i did wait um so we started this last stream right we we started making this weird little apartment thing but i decimated it and and what we're doing is kind of building a, a little mall maybe a little one story mall maybe some apartments on top right and the plan is we're gonna each stream we do we're gonna do this for 30 minutes maybe an hour or so each stream um and we're gonna add more to it so as a, a kind of like a, a little build project we're working on together where we're inviting everybody to kind of contribute not necessarily build stuff but you can say hey what happens if you do this and we'll slowly add to it so we're building a little store um and just seeing like what we want the space to be i'm not really thinking about what we're going to do with it um so that's kind of what we're doing now so what i'm going to do now that toilet ducks arrived is everybody's going to leave the stream we're, we're going to stop it now we're not going to stream anymore it's never going to see us play his map um no i'm going to go on a break for just like five minutes i'm going to run across the street i'm going to go to the bathroom as well um grab a drink and then we'll come back and we'll start the actual map. I think we did pretty good for progress. I think we actually have a nice little goal here instead. Like before we were just kind of building that, um, just showing off what you could do in the editor. I think this might be a better way of going about it. I, I think I still plan on maybe doing some more dedicated mapping streams like where that's all I'm doing. Um, but that would be for more like a specific map project I'm working on. And where this I'm gonna save for each of our little streams so we're going to build on it every stream and eventually hopefully it'll be done right we'll we'll, we'll get to a finishing point um because I, I was thinking about doing a little underwater area here too and that would be you know just just no why not it's a good way to show it off but we got a little distracted building this um
Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna wander around. Actually, let's you know what? I'll we'll load it up. Just so you can see it in game what this looks like. Um This is not the right thumbnail. Oh, I forgot to change this. I'm so sorry. Um, forgot I had the old thumbnail. Has anyone else thought, I wish there was actual room beyond this door, window, etc. All the time. I always did that. That was the one when I was growing up. That was one of the reasons I did. Um, I always no clipped stuff all the time is I just wanted to uh, just see if there's more beyond and sometimes there was and that was always exciting that's kind of one of the reasons why i'm a huge fan of secret areas in a lot of games too is because they let me see areas where i probably wanted to see and they just kind of hid hid them from me and it felt like a little reward especially if i was replaying a level i played a thousand times so let's crack open the level we just played or made, I should say, just to see what it looks like in the actual map. So here's the level. This is not, uh, I'm using an old version of Eduke for this, but I'll use the proper one. You can tell because the the, uh, the stats are all messed up. Um, so remember, nothing, nothing really out here. Um, but we can run around. Got that guy. I don't think we blocked this stuff out. Let's grab the shotgun here. Yeah, we didn't block this, so we can still walk through it. But we, we can make this breakable, um, and we will when we get this all finalized. But yeah, we'll... And then eventually the idea is, I think we, we want to go down here. Why? I don't know. Maybe we'll have a store that's blocked off, and you have to do go through the water system to get to it. Um, and then we can think about... I kind of want like a little stairwell, too. I like this idea of a second floor... For, for this as well, but maybe we'll do that as a chore layer, maybe a sprite layer. I, I kind of want to do a little bit of both when we're doing this, just to um, show the capabilities off and also like what you can maybe do. But I'm also not great at chore myself. Like I can do it, but I'm not fully understanding of the system all the time. Uh, but yeah, I think I think this was a, a nice little little introduction into the level editor. I think you get a basic idea for people who aren't familiar with it, how it can function. Because um, really the, the the amount of time it took was just us playing around with textures, which if you don't get caught up on that stuff and you just want to build shapes and things out of the default uh, whatever texture or just something to get the shape of it, that might be a better way, building a play area. Um, but th that's the joy. There's no right way, no wrong way. It's just There's just different ways. So yeah, we'll leave it off there for now. I'm gonna mention, again, I'm gonna go on a brief break just to uh, go to the bathroom real quick, grab myself a beverage. Uh, my partner also wanted something from the store, so I'll grab that while I'm out. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll actually play some maps, like actual D&D maps. Um, so. Give me like five or ten minutes. I'll still probably pop around and chat in case anybody needs anything or has any questions. And then we'll play Wet Dry World. Um, Toilet Duck, I know you made your new map too. Like, what timing of this where I, I kind of got this together and then I noticed right after I posted that you, you released another map? So, whether or not I'm going to do that one today as well, I might save it. Maybe. We'll see. I'll see how this goes. Because right now, you've already threatened me with a dangerous button puzzle. 
So, um, let's just see how my sanity goes. No, don't walk on this. Do not walk on this. Sorry, I have my, how to fight off my cat. I have this thing that raises my, um, keyboard. It has a fan and everything, but it's also extra USB slots, but I don't use it. Um, but I do use it to raise it, but I, today I decided not to do that. But now my cats just want to walk on my laptop all the time. That little bit of a raised keyboard somehow stops them from doing that. It's amazing. Um, so hopefully I don't get disconnected while uh, this is happening. Uh, but either way, I'll be back. Five, ten minutes. Linda, don't, don't touch. Don't touch. Be interesting.
I agree. One second. My issue with the uh... like, I I I think uh, the time to kill music is too short, but they could have also just had it blend together better, right? Maybe they, it was probably because of the, the technology, I'm assuming. Um, like when you have PS1, so th they would do their soundtracks uh, kind of like how old CDs would work, right? But does that mean it would always have to pause when restarting the song? Or could it just not seamlessly loop back in? Because it, it does cut hard. Like it's, it's, it's very noticeable when the music ends and then it reboots. Um, um, sorry, I was messaging. So, um, yeah, it, it's kind of like... It needed, it needed to be longer, which was probably... Maybe they just couldn't because of the technology. Uh, seamlessly do Odd World is a great example. I remember, I bought Odd World for my cousin, and I always wanted to play it. I played a little bit of it, and now years later, I still haven't played it. I have all, like so many of them. I think I always kept buying them now, like when I would see them digitally, or you know, I've been in like a little play. Like, I, I think the furthest I ever got was the Stranger's Trap. It's not that because I don't even enjoy it. It's just because. Time. Oh, I don't know why. I guess it's it's a th that's that's a commitment that game because I'm I'm a perfectionist too, so I like really want to get 100 percent on it. Um, I'm just gonna post a real quick uh, screenshot of our progress on that map we just built, and uh, just to advertise the stream, and then I'll off officially be back. I guess I'm technically back now, but like you know, I, gu I guess I'll at least we're. Really um, but yeah, I, um, let's see, take a picture of a screenshot, I guess. Um, which I guess we can get this off. I'm not using this version. Um, so yeah, I wonder why they didn't just do it that way. Because I like the music, but it, it does very much just cut and start again. Cut and start again. And you're right, the way they do design those levels, you're going to be spending some time. They like they want you to find secrets, just like the original Duke 3D. I think that's why I like how how they handled it, because I, I did like their secrets. Um, I still haven't beat it. And I remember, I like even the second one. Uh, what is it, Land of the Babes? I don't. I didn't beat that one either, because I used to rent them. Those were games I also used to rent. Um, so, so what would happen is I'd rent them. I wouldn't be able to beat it, and then I would play whatever game I owned. And usually, I would have to save over my stuff because I didn't have unlimited memory cards back in the day. And uh, every time I rented it, I have to start again, and I would never, never beat it, never beat it. But. The second one has an underwater section, like a big one, like you have a diving suit and everything. And it, it probably sucked, but because underwater was just, is my jam. Like, I just think that's so cool as like a, a concept for movies, games. Uh, not that it's done well a lot. I just think it's like untapped. It's it's horrifying, but it's cool. It's interesting. Like it could be whatever you want it to be. It's great. Um, I just remember that. Get some. Plug in this. I forgot to set loop on this, so even my loop loops. Yeah. Uh,
I guess we could have kept him alive for the screenshot, you know? I was going to say something like crazy like the vine, but then I realized I wouldn't be using that correctly, that term. I, I was somebody who actually didn't even know vine existed. I found out about, is that what it was? Like the thing that gave birth to short form content, right? Whatever that program was. And I found out about it when it died. That's how I feel. Like I must have heard about it. But to me, it was like a nothing. It, it non-existent. And then you find out it's like gargantuan. It's huge. And you're like, how did I not notice that giant inflatable douche in front of me? Come get some. All right. All right. So DN Cross. We'll get off the. Do you want a full HUD for this? Maybe we'll do full HUD. No? It's just a screenshot. I kind of would have been okay with just that bar there. But oh well. Is that like... To the game, baby. I can tell if that distorts it. Come here. I need to lure him in. Oh, yeah, I forgot. These these aren't blocked. Come here. I need to... Because I need to get time to get the screenshot. You understand? So you got to stay there for a minute. Stay there. Oh, God. Messages. Oh, let's turn those off. That'll make things easier. I could have just... Placed a little dummy. Boom. Nailed it. Done. All right. Okay, I'm going to one more time because I'm just going to post this. Then I'm going to move over to the intro for the level. And we'll play the level. Um, while I'm, I guess I'm doing this, I know there's like, uh, even though this is going to ironically make it a lot slower, but at least you won't have dead air. It's a choice I have to make. Um, I know Toilet Duck's opinion is polymer so you have different renderer options for those not familiar with it again hopefully i'll get like a little video just to go off setting up eduke if somebody needs it one day um but there's three different renderers and i'm not exactly sure well i kind of that's a lie i know i know they all look different but why is a different story. Um, but for this, like I use poly most uh, is the one I usually use. But if it does suggest, and I'll, I guess we'll go over that one too, is um, a lot of the times the uh, map author will tell you what renderer will work best. Um, so polymer is the one that's recommended for this one. Which, the only downside for me is uh, my laptop that I play things on and run like my stream on. Is, um, there's all my folders. Doesn't seem to like Polymer. Doesn't seem to like Polymer. That way. It does sometimes, I noticed, but then other times it's just doesn't like it. So I I have to think, I th I'm thinking I might have to tinker with some settings here. Thank you. 
Did I not just take pictures? Like, I'm pretty sure I was screen sign. Like, where'd you go? Where did you go? Was I in this one? Oh, they're there. They're there. Oh my god, international keyboard. Editing. Nailed it. I posted a tweet successfully. My job is complete. Do, 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 do. I deleted something I wasn't supposed to. Okay, so we're gonna get to uh, Winter Eye World in a minute here. But first off, we have a README. So most of the maps <coughs> that you download have some form of like README manual. It's kind of like a credit, like the credit system, if you will. But it also shows you the settings and things like that if there's anything special. Um, so it's like you know, kind of kind of neat to go through. Because uh, sometimes it'll give some lore or plot. It's not in the main map, you know? Uh, this is Super Mario 64 Wet Dry World. Is the uh, official title by Toilet Duck 64. Here's his other maps, which there's way more. I'm pretty sure there's way more than this. Um, and at the time, I don't know the I don't remember the order of this. Uh and I don't know if Twilight Duck's around right now. Uh this map is based on Winter Eye World from Super Mario 64. I had to change quite a few things in the map simply because Super Mario 64 and 3D are so wildly different. But I think it would work uh worked out in the end. Basically, when Duke arrives in the area, the aliens are already in the process of trashing the place, and as you can I'd expect his job is to kill them all before they trash it even more. Um, so the there's like an order here for for his maps, but I don't like I, th I don't was this one built first? I feel, but it it chronologically takes place after. I'm not sure completely what the uh, Duke Nukem Mario lore is in this universe. And there's a lot of lore. We're going to get to that. 
Um, the buildings in the downtown area contain a lot of tight, awkward geometry, which even though it's technically put together. Oh, but you know what? Um, so my thumbnail, like maybe it's not the best representation of it, uh, but what I did was um, I just I found a screenshot of I'm a, I'm hopeful this is Super Mario 64 because I also found a ton where it's like Gary's mod and it's probably very accurate but I was trying to find a picture somebody took of Super Mario 64 and I got them to match up pretty well like there's an actual another version of this where you can see both of them and I can fade in and out because I was trying different versions um, and it's pretty good I'm gonna be honest it's like pretty pretty close um, anyways Sorry. Nope. My cat's trying to bring the loudest way in the world to me. Which, hey, like, I'm glad they like it, but it's supposed to stay in one room. And they just drag it around the house. The buildings uh, is the downtown area contain a lot of tight, awkward geometry, which even though it's technically put together correctly, the corruption free and corruption free can cause the game to eat shit for no good reason. Uh, good to know. Good to know. Um, for example, every now and then the game might yeet Duke into a completely different part of the map and fatally squish him. That happened to me in Big Boo's Haunt. There's the elevator section and like sometimes I'd get stuck going in the elevator and I think I had a duck. Uh, part of that might have been how E-Duke's changed a little bit, but I know how to do that. And I think it killed me once. At Vendetta. AI tends to do weird things, they always do, uh, such as underwater Liz Troopers trying to swim fly up through the ceiling instead of attacking Duke, or Liz Troops captains teleporting away and then never returning. Where do they go? Maybe because they can't find a suitable place to do so? Interesting. In addition, <laughs> what a terrible life. They teleport and then they can't find their way. They quantum leaped. That's what happened. Um, in addition, floor-aligned colliable sprites can disable Duke's underwater status. And that doesn't sound like a bad thing. That means I can abuse that and breathe forever. And I set up such that this problem doesn't break anything important. Okay, all right, so it's not a problem anyways. Okay, good to know. Um... Okay, so yeah, we're gonna try I'm going to try my best with uh, Polymer. But I'm definitely going to have to change something. And this is something I should have done in advance. But I didn't really want to play the map. It's hard enough sometimes getting a screenshot without trying to spoil myself. Nope. Okay, so polymer, polymer, polymer. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Just a second. 
I'm on the wrong. I'm on my wrong e duke here. Interesting. Did you say polymer in there? Oh, okay, he's him in not telling me. Um, but I'm pretty sure he told me, so I'm going to do this. So we're going to start with the stock settings that I, that I have. But I might restart. This is overdock. Can't even see that. go to classic 4x3 view. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I don't even know what resolution that would be. No? Mm, you are, we do want our HUD on. Crosshair is fine. I don't know what scale does. I have no idea what that does. Oh, that just makes it bigger. Make it bigger. Maybe that would help. Using the classic uh, HUD to save some screen real estate. Okay. We got 19 frames. Maybe first, let's see. Maybe if killing a few people, maybe that'll help. Let's, but let's try the theory we had. Does that give me any more frames? No. Oh, I, that, I, feel, I feel like that made it worse. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's see what else we can do. Let's tinker a little bit. Renderer setup? Is that what I want? 24 bit? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this, any of this would help. Polymer setup. Dynamic shadows. Off? I don't know if I want to start, like, because if polymer does look different, and I kind of want to, I'm interested in knowing why that is. Like, I want to see what the difference is, you know? Do I want old school? What what would you consider old school? Like, what what is the original? Like, 800 by 600? I don't know. What would that... Oh. Oh. That's giving me, like, almost no difference. Okay, let's, let's try this. Go really retro. Well, let's give it a solid 30. 30. 39. Let me, let me try to kill this guy. Tinker some more. This is our tinkering time. Let's try to go back to what we... To reality. Did you try to say polymer dynamic lights? I did not. 
Is that what you recommend? I have so little experience with polymer. So here, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do. Uh, you wanted to go to renderer setup. Then you'll do polymer setup and dynamic lights. Cool. But if I change this to poly, like, I get way more frames on classic or polymer so far with this map. I, like I, I didn't play it. Like I just took that screenshot, so like I moved a little bit with no monsters on, so that probably helped. Um, but I, I noticed polymer always does this. Now dynamic lights will turn off completely. Is that what we're thinking? Okay, let's do that. Oh. That's a lot more manageable. Yeah. Well, took me a minute. So. I think that's pretty good. We can do it. We can do it with that. Come okay. Some. I think we we can do it. Let's get a save going. Uh, six to four. I read online uh, ages ago that supposedly mo I'm not being able to shooting uh, you people use polymer. So I thought I was the odd guy out with polymos, but that's not the case at all. I think it's it's on the YouTube. Quick. I will say when I I see people post um, like Duke Nukem. Uh, oh, that just that just ate poop. That just ate poop. What happened? Give me a second here. Oh, it's catching up. It comes in like little, it's like it's kind of maybe saving stuff. Um, so maybe I'll change something else here. What happens if I just, I, I don't know what the differences are. So I don't know if I change this, will I notice it? Is that making it better? I can't tell. Well, now we're kind of... I'm just gonna run around in a circle for a second. Uh, most use polymer. Most people. Att well, so in yeah, in, so in the YouTube videos that I watch, or like I don't watch, um, I'm kind of like scrolling and I see a lot. I see a lot that use something that looks like, like, like Duke Nukem World Tour. Well, I see a lot of people playing World Tour, um, and like the concept of the advanced lighting and all that as an addition. I'm not against it as being an option, but I also just think that was poorly Im implemented. So I, a lot of the stuff I'm looking at, it reminds me of the old, old days of the uh, high res project where like everything was just not, I don't want to say poorly made 3D models, but they just totally didn't fit. And that's kind of how the lighting feels. It's like we're at that weird early stages of it. Unless somebody's gone to something amazing because it's, I feel like we just need to use it properly. Um, and I see a lot of people do that, and I guess Duke Plus, is that? I'm assuming it's Duke Plus. Uh, because I see a lot of 3D models. I was, I thought I was going to die by now, so I haven't really been trying to, uh, play. Because I was trying to just check the frame right here. This is pretty much how all of his maps start, by the way. It, it starts with, like, death. Now, this is, uh, we have to save this for once we, uh, once we... Once we figure out what we're going to do here. Um, but yeah. So. I don't know what I was trying to say. Did any of that make sense? Did that rant make sense at all? I was focused. In my brain, I was focusing on 14 different things. Alright. Okay, we need to do some crowd control here. This is. This is. What is the viewpoint here? I, I, I can't hit him because I'm assuming I'm going to be hitting a wall. Could jump on here. Jump on here. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to see that weird pyramid thing. 
Let me see The Void. That's a pretty good movie. The triangle thing reminds me of that. Oh, what? A suck it down? That's not something I really, really am equipped with for right now, you know? Like, you guys need to give me a break. Uh, I can either use... Where is he? I need to use him to take these guys out. Is he like the babam? Is that what I'm going to take out of this? Take some things out. Yes. Okay, I need health. Need health. Uh, more health. Need health? I'll take that. I'll save. Okay, it comes in little spurts. Little little spurts where I, I go matrix on me. But the readme warned me about it, so I'm gonna... Maybe if I turn V-Sync off, do you think it'll help? can't tell if that helped, but I'm gonna... It, it kind of feels smooth, maybe. maybe. Uh, I came to think it was probably uh, the excuse for being unable to finish the map. Oh, your map, sure. Because Polymer... <laughs> Sucks because of Polymer. I... what? It's true. I, I haven't... I haven't gone that deep into the... Uh, and we know how like die hard people are about certain edit oh I'm out of completely I need a I need a I need a I need that. Yeah, I needed that so that he would take out some of those guys. I don't want to use that yet. I need that. I need that. I don't know when you uh, uh, would like me to read these missions of yours, because uh, I'm, I'm being murdered. If I limit, if I do something where people are like, hey, that's a, probably a bad option to change, let me know. It's, I only act like I know what I'm doing. I just think if I limit the frame rate, maybe it'll be more stable feeling if it thinks it only has to aim for 30. I don't know if that's how that works, but I'm going to go with it. Do I have time to read... Chapter one, the Hobbit. I feel like all my shots are hitting. I'm doing pretty good there. That's pretty good. Okay, um, save, I guess. Uh, I'd love to hit him now that he's finally deciding to join the party, but... Um, I'm assuming they're underneath me. Okay. Okay, they're just killing each other. They're killing each other somewhere. Let's just let it happen. Alright, ready? Here we go. As you can see, we all had to get the fuck out of here for the usual reason. By that, we mean that... Imagine if you didn't know you could, um... You could type this out. Right? You had to hand place all these sprites. Imagine. I'd be losing my mind right now if I didn't find that out. What are you waiting for? Christmas? I can't check that. It's just nonstop freezing. 
As you can see, we all had to... Uh, a whole bunch of aliens arrived and started fucking up lots of shit. You may or may not have heard of the water crystals that, when touched, raise or lower the water level in the general area to the height of the water crystal. Okay. What are you waiting for? We're going puzzly. Christmas. Uh, my base for the... Uh, largely in my case, that the maps were often at least partly built on a PC from 2005. Imagine you couldn't type it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, were you one of the the poor poor souls that didn't know you could type it and you hand paint like Um I I did that. Um thankfully I didn't get far on my um on all my in my diner that I was building. I have a menu that I built, and I didn't know you could do that either. So all of that was hand placed, and there's a lot of texture layering to to make different, to make it look like what I wanted it to look like, um, to fit a reference. And then there's like all my decals and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god. What are you waiting for? And then CK3D told me you could type stuff. Now, unfortunately, after that, I didn't have anything left that I needed to type. I already did it all by hand. Um, but I'm assuming there's going to be more. But it, it's just, oh my god. Because then I played a map where there was a ton of it. So maybe it was yours. It's so sad. Uh, when touch back, so this is going to be maybe a puzzle. Uh, the good news is we've developed the ability to move them once they've been created so that we can use them to raise or lower the water level to any arbitrary height as needed. We already knew how to create... Uh, them in the first place but only recently did we figure out a way to apply enough force to move a crystal while neither triggering the water height change for breaking the crystal the bad news is we had to smash all the water crystals to prevent the aliens from getting their hands on them because we really didn't want any changes that's a very powerful object that can just raise a water level what's its, what's its proximity uh, want any change on them bringing a crystal aboard a spacecraft activating it in orbit? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just suck up all the water. Well, not suck it up. Raise it. Raise it all up. Actually, we're not sure what that... Yeah. yeah. Christmas. That, uh, but it would almost uh, surely be something retarded, uh, such as the water level getting raised to the spacecraft's orbital al altitude. Yep, that's possible. In any case, your extraction point will be on top of a high platform near the top of the tower just to the south of this terminal but you can't get there from here at least not directly for now find a way to reach the top of the multi-tiered brick structure to the north of here after we detect your arrival there we'll send you a care package and some additional instructions incidentally if the aliens haven't already trashed the arrow lifts yet you'll find the controls to activate them in the secret compartment hidden behind a box there we go. Yeah, everything I've ever done so far in Mapster is trial and error. And then I've learned a better way to do it, and then I've gone back and crawl through here. Groovy. Um, ended up redoing a bunch of stuff I already did, but. part of the fun this one's broken oh my god mission log entry part one of two some some big lore uh in the super mario 64 maps uh the mission log entry will be a bit unusual uh but with good reason shortly after we arrived oh these are the bad guys. Yeah, sometimes there's logs from the bad guys. It's a different color. Uh, we found that it contained no data value, just a bunch of video games about how awesome Duke Nukem is. This is true. Uh, or some shit like that. 
So we pre uh, repurposed it to keep records of our mission activities. Okay. We found that what looks like a hood box labeled Danger Explosives. On top of the massive structure, and our current plan are to leave it alone until we know more about its actual uh, contents. Our sensors have... Uh, why does that all look a little weird to me? Uh, what, what does that say? Scatted? The shit out of it. Scanned. It's just, for some reason, they look like they're closed. Those look like D's. What do you want um, for Christmas? Well, it's like... Okay, never mind. Just... Uh, shit out of it. And haven't detected anything except for the material that the box itself is made of. Either the humans made the box entirely out of new explosive material, or the humans have some kind of stealth technology that our sensors can't handle, like a box. Either way, we've agreed to uh, not fuck around with it, uh, the box, anytime soon, because none of us w want to be in the blast radius. There is little lines on this text uh, when it explodes. So we found an underground city or base or some shit containing several human buildings. Uh, but that was all the detail our scans you found so far. We still had to teleport down there personally to investigate and had to look through windows before teleporting inside buildings so that we wouldn't intersect something. Uh, we still managed to... So we're, we're adding lore into why the troopers may or may not be disappearing. Just building that straight in. Um, couldn't teleport in. The Cycloid Emperor only knows what would happen if we were to intersect whatever's inside one of those rooms. All the building's exterior windows and entryways have been hardened as well. But that's basically by being a non-issue for us because we can simply teleport past them. Uh, by the way, the te big light fixtures... Just get a little beverage. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Big light fixtures down there look like they could be useful, but we have added them to our do not fuck with list. Uh, simply because none of us want to get our asses zapped a second time. Uh, we thought we had successfully fucked up the power supply badly enough, but apparently we were wrong. Oh my god. Uh, we also investigated some weird shit that was floating in the air when we got here. It was, seems that the human's anti-gravity technology is different from ours. We didn't let that stop us from repurposing their shit, though. For example, there was this one tube-shaped thing floating in the air. Uh, this would be, make more sense maybe if I actually knew this level from Super Mario 64. Like, in depth. In the air, uh, a weird a weird angle, and we are currently using it as a, a fucking awesome fire barrel uh, for burning other shit uh, that we captured from the humans. Like a weird ramp we broke that was hanging off of the side of the big brick structure and had nothing connected to the other end. As well, I guess we're explaining why there's some level design changes that you might have had to make as well as the some doors we found in the uh, big underground city or base or whatever the hell it is that's beneath this area. We've left some of the humans' platforms floating around so that we can take uh, some more time to study the human shit before reading it up, building it. Uh, speaking of which, we've been trying to set fire to human property and inflict as much damage as possible before Duke Nukem shows up and builds and ruins everything. Uh, but... That has proved slightly difficult because everything is soaking wet, almost as if the place was flooded recently. But that would be wildly inconsistent with the weather scans we performed before landing. It doesn't matter m what? Uh, much to us anyway because we have the right chemicals. One can destroy anything if one has the right attitude. At least Come that's on. what the humans say. Sure. Unfortunately, I have to cut this little adventure short here. Our sensor scans have indicated that Duke Nukem is inbound. I know some of my squad mates disagree on this, but I but personally, I think that it would be better to teleport away and achieve redemption later than shall, instead of throwing my life away by staying to fight Duke Nukem. Uh, it, it looks like Duke Nukem with the weird little lines. It is written that one before I... 
it is written that one shall not put the kill will of the cycloid emperor to the test before i go though i'll set up the, some explosives to hopefully blast open the underground chamber if that works inflict enough damage because of a mission is success cool there we go Uh, canvas and balsa wood for no particular reason. I'm not going to say it wrong. Okay, so we're going to go underneath. So there's going to be go, go underneath here. Can, this is the burning thing, which I did see in the polymer when I took a screenshot. And I was like, oh, that's weird looking. It, it's The perspective is very, kind of does end up looking different. Okay, that's, um, let's go on there. Oh, pistol ammo. That's what we needed. Ruby. Okay, jump on that. Jump on that. I could jump on that and jump on that into the um, the strange uh, pyramid of death, but um, which. Looks different in the other ones as well. I was gonna jetpack in that res. I can't. I can't jetpack. So we're gonna. <gasps> Some wild sectorness. Right, so here I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you something. So I know what you're talking about. I'm going to go. So this is what I'm assuming it's supposed to look like, ish, like minus this weird weirdness, right? But yeah, it's weird. Um, and this doesn't happen in classic, I don't think either. Right? I think they changed polymer. I think they are polymost. But I'm I will say, like, if people haven't seen the void, go watch the void. It's Canadian. Um, but I kinda I think I kinda think you could do something with this. If you could force this, right? I wonder if something could be done by exploiting something like that. Because it kind of... And then you go through it, but I don't... I don't know if I'd want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm just gonna look. We're gonna look here. See the Battle Lord. We're gonna switch to Polymer. A really old build to make the map. Yeah, it looks like things have changed. Right? So, I, it does change things. kind of weird how the perspective does shift anyways we're gonna go back to polymer so we're gonna pretend that is not there i i feel like i saw something similar in um big boo's haunt once uh arrow lift system okay so that's a secret probably maybe i also when i took my screenshot i made this go away in polymer it just i went away um, there's the exit for the level right above the start there. 
Are you doing a room over room there? Like, is this, um... Come on. I'm just wondering how much of this would be room over room versus, like, because I know you can do a lot of this and just throw a sprite down. Throw some sprites down. Where is a split? That's that's the fun. I'd say that where the brown is, that would be your split. Because you run across the entire map. What are you waiting for? Where that Christmas? little ramp is on the right as well. I could be making all this up. Um Nice, okay. Uh yep. Oh, secret. All your secrets have this. Which I'm hoping... Where is it? I'm, I'm not... It doesn't have to continue. But for this style, I always know where I'm... This is very Wolfenstein-y. I guess it would be more Mario as well, but... That's a very Wolfenstein-y feeling uh, secret there. So we can go there. Is there anything up here that we, we can do right now? No. Okay, so we'll go back here. Uh, what? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Get some ammo. Dang. Okay. Going very platforming here. Let's say I'm going to say right there. Secret. Knows that. Not bad. Probably should have came up here with a. Uh... We'll take care of this problem now. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Okay, we're not. We're not hitting them. My weakness is jumping on slopes. I will never, ever master jumping on slopes in build games. I was trying to take the shotgun out the whole time, but my my hands are still used to my work keyboard because I use a different keyboard for work here, and I'm slightly off center, so I kept hitting nothing like four where my chain gun is, thinking it was the shotgun button. 
and uh, it uh, didn't go well, as you can see. Well, it went fine, just thought, uh, thought I was going to handle that a little smoother. Okay, I don't know if I want to jump up there. I don't want to look at him yet. This right here. I feel like I have no choice but to engage. Hey! Hey! There's a couch! There's a couch again! I remember that. That means something. Secret. I wonder if it's the same exact thing where there's a secret. It was like underneath, not on this, but I'm just double checking the suspicious couch. Um, I think it was on. No. Maybe I'm reading into that and I just wasted this uh, this whole thing. Push the wall behind the chair. Okay, so I had the right idea. It was the chair. Is there like a reason for the chair? Like, is there, because now that I, it's in multiple maps, why is there a chair? Is that something that we're aware of? I had the right idea. Uh, okay, so now the only downside is every... The atomic health was kind of pointless, because no matter how I get down, I'm going to take damage. No matter what. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll make our journey up. I wanted the chain gun, so it was worth it. Um, I'm not sure if I have to actually destroy this battle lord right now, but... Make it work. Oh, you son of a... I greased it. Greasy, greasy boy. Magic carpet ride. Ooh, you could do an Aladdin map. Yeah. Oh, I can just run off. I don't even have to jump. That one, I, I should have probably jumped. Okay, we're up here. Up here. I don't know what I want to do with them right now. Do I want to do with them? I guess I have no choice. Oh, is he not real? Oh, oh it's real. That's not promising. Or maybe it is. Maybe that's a reward. Maybe it's a reward. Here, package. In the broken part of the structure. Secret door. The structure. Near. Oh, okay. I, you know what? Okay. I gotta just put my wall pumping um, hat back on. Like the olden days. 
to find your secrets. So let me let me get back into that mode. I, I'm so used to like trying to find something where I'm like, hmm, it's kind of like pointing me in the direction where maybe something's there. Your arrival here indicates that you've completed the first part of your mission. So we're sending you a care package with some useful equipment. Uh, that care package should arrive on top of the nearby crate with the danger explosives. Uh, don't bother opening the crate itself. It's basically a big solid block of wood with no useful space inside. Uh, and we added nails and other decorations Christmas. to make it look like, look more crate-like. Uh, anyway, the next part of your mission is to secure the downtown, er, downtown area. Go to enter the pipe leading downtown after exiting that pipe go to the building on the south side of the downtown area don't bother trying to enter the other building yet they're still on lockdown due to the alien attack be advised that the aliens in this area seem to be getting desperate they've already inflicted a substantial amount of structural damage and destroyed quite a few things god only knows what they're trying to blow up next last but not least usage instructions follow for the tools you'll have to use to safely descend into the downtown area. Come on. Are you trying to make me use trip mines to slow down my descent? I, is that what I'm, I'm reading there? Because technically Duke would stop each time he's placing a trip mine. I've never even considered that as an option of, in anything, ever. Come on. Huh. Okay. I don't know if you... I'm going to save right here, just in case you men up here, but I'm, gonna, I'm thinking down here. In the broken part of the structure, the fire barrel... Okay, I did. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Okay. I just don't. I, I don't think I've ever thought of that ever being used. Uh, in a practical sense. To be right there. We're talking about. Underneath here. we meant in the pipe. Uh, no. Because I feel like that's where I'm supposed to go. Interesting. A second door. I don't know if that's just nowhere, but I just feel like the second door means something. Maybe there's a way that'll open. Could just be decoration, but... Okay, we gotta go up here. It's 14 secrets. Um... Just do this. Is there anything on here that I want? Oh, night vision goggles. Okay. Oh, I already, I already have some. Okay. Was that a secret? 
there's switches on the walls in there. There are switches on the walls in there. Why am I not noticing this stuff? How am I not seeing that? Oh, there is. Oh my god. What did that do? What did is this lower that? I hear that over here. What did that do? this one do? It just closes it. So that's there. Was that always here? And that does something else. Could be in that secret. Could be in that. I don't want to jump down there. So let's go. Let's go up here. Let's look up here. Come get some. Oh. In the original Super Mario 64 course, the city welcomes visitors with the depth they bring as they enter. And now that Duke Nukem and the aliens have arrived here, the water height levels is at. Okay. This is not what I was trying to do. Okay, we're gonna use this as an experiment to see. What... Did that do anything down here? Just as, just as a precaution. Gotta Wolfenstein this. I wonder if I could... Oh, I could do that. Okay, I'm gonna load this up. Just give me a second there. So, I think... Am I in relation to that? That sounds... Was... Or did that do the um, TV? Is that what that did? No. That was always there. Oh, wait. It made it so I can get... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I see. So we go on here... That lowers this right here so you can get up here. Yeah. Okay. And then you could read this. And that's a secret. Okay. I understand. Okay. So let's go the way we're supposed to go now and go into the city. Oh, oh, Jesus, I forgot about that hole. I don't like this. I feel like that was the wrong way to do that. I have night vision, might as well use it. Okay. 
didn't shoot. I don't know if like these are like something I shoot through. These guys, I don't think I can shoot because they're inside. Could I shoot those ones? Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if you would do secrets on here, but I don't trust myself, so we're gonna. That was a sprite platform. Okay, I saw that up top. That pink. For those unfamiliar, if you see like these little pink squares around like textures, they're sprites. But then also not all the time, so I don't really understand how that works quite yet. Um. See, this is where the lighting... I want to turn... Can I... You know what? We're going to do it. Now that we're inside, I want to turn the lighting on. Maybe... I just want to see if it would... In Mario 64, and I don't say that lightly. See, like I like the little flashes of light. I could, I could see that being a, a chosen, a choice. It's kind of an aesthetic. What does it look like without that? Like, I, do, is there just not lighting at all? It might. Am I going, going crazy in my thought process? That's not what I wanted. That actually seems to run fine if you just do map only. And then you still get the lighting effects for like stuff like this. Um And it's running stable. It's kind of it's weird. I like this. So Man, so much Troar. I wish you could, uh, I don't know if you can, I, like, because that's one of the things I would like, and that's one of the things I do is from an auto map perspective. I, I wish I could separate the layers so that I could hide the top from the bottom. Maybe you can. I don't know. So what? what, are, what was the shadows doing? Makes it feel a little choppier. Sorry, guys. I never play with Threnderer uh, Polymer, so I, I'm just... I'm kind of curious just what... how it feels. Okay, we're going to leave the dynamic lights on for the environment. Um, for now. Uh, okay, so I can't go inside. I forgot like half the stuff I was told that in, in the text message. Oh, my red mode was off. Maybe that's why it felt so sluggish. Oh, 
Grab it. Uh, having detected your arrival, we've just now released the lockdown of the buildings in the downtown area and have sent you a key card, which will unlock the exit door. The key card should already be waiting for you in front of the terminal. Yeah, I just saw it appear. Uh, the next part of your mission is to secure all the downtown buildings, remove any alien presence inside. Uh, each building has a security terminal, which will allow you to signal the main downtown security system that when you, uh, you've secured the building. Uh, if, we intentionally, if we intentionally damaged the terminals and disabled most of their features to stop the aliens from using them properly, but you can still send the necessary signal by pressing the big red button. Uh, be advised that you need to give a button a good kick or something even stronger to press it properly. Design it in a way that apparently everyone allows pressing big red buttons. Uh, system is detected that we secured all the buildings. It will open the gate near this terminal. Beyond the gate, there is a door that requires the key card we just sent. That door leads to a series of passages and elevators, which will eventually lead to the extraction point. Okay. Oh. I do like this half above, half underwater. I don't know if this is also underwater inside. Probably. Oh, do I want to take care of these guys? You know, there should be, um, like, a, a percentage chance. Like, if, if somebody were to do, like, a, a remixed, not quite Brutal Doom, man. I think there somebody was making Brutal Doom Nukem ones. Uh, but not quite Brutal Doom, but add a, a percentage chance that a uh, a commander can explode. Because if they're, they're filled with explosives. Come on. Throw a special... Uh, death animation on under it or something. Sorry, I just got in this message. What are you waiting for? Christmas? I always wanted, like, Mario is one of those games I've always wanted to just, I wanted to beat. Uh, you'll want to solve all the mandatory puzzles in the buildings before trying to go for all the secrets, by the way. Okay. Um, so, you're assuming I will find all the secrets even with that. Um, oh, I can go in here. Okay, I can go in there. I heard a guy teleport and die. Okay. Title zero. Tile zero. Well, I'm glad I'm playing on this one. can glitch the map if you try to go get go for it too early. That doesn't sound promising. Well, if I glitch out, I'm hoping you would know. And you could tell me. Too much, too much for me there. Was that the glitch one? Well, guess what? I I lived. I'm the boy who lived.
The secret that has the problem is in the cage in the southeast corner of downtown. All right, let's go to that one first and immediately do that. This is a... Um, Kind of reminds me of a, a Roche map. Uh, this is not pipe. That's a reference. I don't know the texture lore. Like this one I understand. Oh, there's a whole other area here. This is kind of mean. <laughs> oh man, I wish I had more night vision. Oh, I do. I do. Oh, I had three seconds worth. Okay. Oh no, is this the switch puzzle? like it is. I'm going to press them all for now. But God help us. Give me strength. If I'm missing something, or really where I am, it's very dark. Maybe I can, you know what? I'm just gonna set uh, control. I gotta do renderer setup, polymer. To use this as like a flashlight. And I drowned. Oh. What the? Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Alex. Knowing there's like, uh, knowing my like, there's gonna be some. Oh, no, I'm drowning. Don't worry. I, I understand I'm drowning. I've accepted my fate. I don't know if I, if this is a puzzle. I don't know if I, I know if I've seen the solution yet. It's kind of wild that I need those lights to in polymer for this map. It almost kind of feels necessary the way it's lit. And now it's running better. I don't know why. Maybe it's because uh. Like, for some reason. Okay, we won't grab. I want to trigger the secret, but I don't want to... Yeah, I just didn't want to get the scuba. I want to save that, and I'll save this right here. Um, I don't know if we saw... the answer to this puzzle anywhere. 
or if this is a puzzle at all, to be honest. Um. Oh, oh. What did that open? That definitely did a thing. Now, where was that thing be? Was it above this, you think? Go back down here. Yep. Oh, there's some more scuba right there. Oh, is that what that opened? Uh, the hint for that combination is on the lowest floor in the room near the southwest corner of the white whiteboard. Just a sec. I don't want to. I don't want to use that scuba. Quite sure what that is. I, I'm, I'm yet. Oh. Oh. Game over, guys. I got the shrink ray. See, again, like, the concept of the polymer render, or, like, the lighting, is interesting as an option, right? So I, I could see how somebody could implement it in a different way. Oh, this is... Wait, this, can I use this as a flashlight? Oh, it's kind of like a flashlight. Nice. Oh, this is... I was supposed to use the trip mines to get down that pipe, and I just kind of brute-forced it with health. Oh, thank you for... for, uh... telling me exactly what I thought. I'm glad we're all on the same page with that idea. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna save right here. Supplies. So... Green, green, green. Oh. Diagonal, sideways, rear. Diagonal, sideways, rear. Is there anything in this one, right? Nothing? Interesting. Yeah, for something this dark, I can see how that would do it. Did I just reverse them wrong? Yeah, I, went, I think I went backwards. That's what I did wrong. Okay, so I went backwards. So, like... Oh. Um, so this one is diagonal. And then this one stays the same. And then this one is that.
Okay, I want to stay myself aligned with this. So I'm facing outwards. Facing outwards. Wait. Yeah, I'm facing this way. Oh, I, di I did this one wrong. This one, this one. I did this one wrong. Okay. So this one. Okay, nope, maybe I, maybe I didn't have them wrong. Okay, didn't have them wrong. That one stays there. But this... No? Maybe that sidewall wall's wrong. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. No. Do opposite. I'm going to reanalyze it. Maybe there's another hint I'm missing here. So we have this. Yeah, I, I think I had that one wrong. I think that's the one I had wrong. Now the only other thing is if we're thinking about this in the wrong direction, because this is hor like this is longer lengthwise. So I'm thinking about it like that way. And maybe it's like if I walk into each room. You're changing the way you... I feel like that would be a more obtuse way to look at it. So I'm thinking we go with our original idea. So if that's the last one... Go across diagonal. Now, do we consider this the last one? Oh, and then actually, wait, actually, maybe we, we have to look a little deeper. So if we are facing this way, we're facing this way. When I'm going inside. And right now I'm facing this way. facing this way when I go in. So this one's like that. Yeah, it's got to be the middle one that I did wrong. It's got to be this one that I think... Looking this way, I want this side's wall. I'm trying to I'm trying to understand. This way. Yeah. Looking this way, I want that side's wall. And then this would be like this. And then this. Yeah. 
is like this? Or is it like this? It's a map of the three rooms in which south is up. Which south is up. Right, so, th so this one. Why my brain keeps automatically forgetting the patterns like I know the patterns but then I don't know the directions that's where I get wrong because right so if you're saying south is up so that would be I just want to see facing a wall that that one would be green that one would be green These ones are green. And then Oh, south is when I'm facing just gets mangled with this. No. Okay. That was not that hard, even though it took me forever to do. That's just the way my brain mixes up puzzles. I'm one of those people that, like, the moment I walk through a door, I forget whatever I was doing. So that, and then once you add that little corner to it, my brain's like, okay, I instantly forgot the thing I was supposed to remember. Now, I don't know what this did, though. I don't know what the purpose of this is. I'm assuming that just opens up a different building. That's w what I'm going to go with. So let's grab this... Uh... Let's grab this... Grab that as well. Okay. Oh, that's just decoration? Okay. I don't know if that did anything else. We are here. Oh, 
Oh yeah. We're, we're gonna be spending a long time getting lo lost underwater. Oh, that's kind of cool. One in each building, okay. One mandatory puzzle in each building. Okay, so each of these is a puzzle. Oh, let's uh, get my flashlight out. 2F RM status, oh my god. Basement. Maybe maybe that's not going to be as bad as I think it is. Maybe maybe it's not the puzzle of death. Um, okay. So what are we going to do here for puzzle? I I figured they're definitely not. There's something you made. I can see that. So. room with little boxes. I don't I don't know. I also don't know what this room is. Alright, let's go upstairs maybe. <sighs> Forgot about combat for so long. to buttons on the second floor of the basement covers. I did I did pick up that and I did figure we were going to be dealing with buttons. So um party on. Um maybe you know what we'll do. Wait a second. Sorry, I'm just I'm, I'm gonna do something real quick for this, which will hopefully save us a lot of time in the long run.
Okay, guys. Here we go. Got a little, little cheat sheet here. It's not really a cheat sheet. You gave us the answers. I just didn't, you know, I could have written them down. That would have been... If I was playing a game, I'd probably do that. Like I am doing now, but instead of writing them down, I'm streaming. Uh, so... Now, I'm just gonna briefly do this. We'll be able to see chat for a minute. So we're on the second floor. So if we're walking in, it's like, it says, if this is how I'm gonna read it, this one, no. I don't know if it means pressed. If if black is pressed. Or if the red is pressed. I can't see chat. So hopefully I'm going to... Uh, until I'm done. So hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll get this right. Hopefully I'll get this right. So we're going to get this row first. This is pressed. Not pressed. Pressed, not pressed. And then not pre none of these are pressed. And then these are pressed. And then we have these side ones. That one's pressed. Skip this. That one's pressed. Skip these two, then that one's pressed. And there's two more, right? Okay. okay. So if it wasn't that, it's the opposite. Black equals pressed and red unpressed. Okay. 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 I'm going back. Sorry. I gotta zoom in on my little map here I built. Black equals pressed. So that's pressed. Not pressed. Not pressed. Pressed. Just double checking. Not pressed. 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 Not pressed. Not pressed. 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 And then these ones then. So this would be not pressed if we're going backwards. That one is uh pressed this one would be uh not pressed pressed and this one is pressed then we have not pressed and then we have pressed pressed
Good. Could be the opposite way. So this would be pressed, 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 not pressed, not pressed, and then pressed, pressed. Not pressed. Pressed. Not pressed. Not pressed. Then pressed. And then if we're working down that same logic, this one would be pressed. This one would be no wait yeah this one would be pressed that would be what not pressed pressed then not pressed pressed and then we have pressed not pressed direction what am I what would I be coming from like I'm picturing it this way because that's how it is on the map like if I'm looking at the map straight on this is on my right side and that's why that's that's why I'm thinking that's like that and that's like that like that would be like that and then that's okay that's okay And then this one is not pressed. Let's just think about this logically. Maybe I, I think maybe I'm overcomplicating it. So th these two are unpressed, okay? Then the next room, there's a pressed one and a not pressed one. Or opposite of what I'm saying, but yeah. And then we go into this room, this one's done. And then we go into this room, and this one's... No, it's the opposite. Can I script this one too? No, that one's okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. So then we go in there, that one's pressed, this one's not pressed. This one's not pressed, but this one is. And we have this one. Two, four. And so this one's fine. And then this one's fine. And then this one. Oh, I just realized something in my brain. The last three are, are all hit. I, I realized I have to get the basement one as well. Yeah, that, that, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to chat. And then as I'm clicking these buttons, I'm like, oh, yeah, but the basement one, I thought there would be two separate puzzles and in my brain I was just losing my mind. Um, is there any secrets up here? I feel like there would be, but maybe not. Okay, we're gonna go down. Uh, 
basement. I see my scubas getting low. Uh, I know we have more. Maybe I'll, I'll grab that. I'm assuming there's going to be some down there as well, but I don't 100% know where. So let's grab the one I do know. My puzzle again. I don't know the directions of this yet. So we're going to take a gamble because I don't actually know where I am in the. Okay, we're going to save that. Should probably save my ammo by just kicking these guys. But it just takes too long. Okay. Oh. That's the one I hit. So there's got to be one in this direction. Yeah. And if that's the case. Facing that way. Facing that way. Facing that way. When all else fails, do the opposite. Oh no. chat for assistance in a second. Focusing on trying to get the uh, scuba we saw. Okay, um, hmm. I genuinely thought I, uh, had the solution here. Okay, 
I gotta think about it like a hallway. Okay, so if I'm thinking about a hallway, that's that one. Right? And then this is. Oh. This is this one. So my. I think maybe I just got these in the wrong order. And then this one is, uh, oh. yeah, that's what it was. That was what it was. I just had it. I had it backwards. That's what I had wrong. Okay. Sorry, guys. Just hit. Now, again, I don't, I don't know what that did. Oh, it opened the... It opens the door. It opens the door somewhere. Yeah. Now I'm going to quickly do... I'll save right here. I want to do a pass. Just to quickly look here, because like... I don't know if every building has a secret at all. I know you said you I should wait. But I feel I won't know where to look. Like, would I put a secret in a bathroom, you know? Uh, the one you just solved is the hardest uh, five combination locks. Okay. Well, at least I solved it. jump over here and I could jump over there these don't break I'm assuming oh there's more scuba there oh we haven't gone in this one yet have we oh but we can Are they all unlocked now? Oh, there's a there's a hand. Don't know which one that did yet, but we'll we'll figure it out. Maybe that's for that building. So it opens something in this building. You can kind of see it with that. Okay, I don't... Uh... The other three buildings also have a combination locks in them. Some secrets won't be accessible anyways until after you've done all that. Okay.
Okay, buttons. More buttons. Look at this little bathroom. Imagine just teleporting just to get shotgun blasted in the face. What a way to go, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Let me just whip up a, a little cheat sheet for myself here. I got a little got a little cheat sheet button here. Okay, so this one has a tour. Let's figure out where these are first, okay? So we're gonna figure out what this are. Two um certain message. the rooms with buttons in them i was thinking we might be going that so i just got i'm trying to figure out where i am in association to this first so where was another button so there's two uh, but they're kind of side by side well i guess not that one's could be there so that one's like straight in my mind oh god i gotta, I gotta do it so I don't move. So that one's along there, I'm assuming. And then this one's along there. So then that means there's going to be one over here. Just two. And then... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. No, no. This is what I'm doing. So, if I'm walking, I'm, I'm assuming this is the stairs. So, this one... This one's shot. And then there should be one right around the corner. Which is this one. And that's... This one shot. Shot. And then this one A second, give me a second here. So we got where am I in conjunction to this? Okay, where am I in conjunction to this? Okay, I get it. I think I understand. So there's buttons here. If I'm here, these ones are clicked. And then
this one is clicked and there should be one right here and then this one is like this and let's go back to that just so I, I have a, a frame of reference here and if there's the next one I see is this and that's like that and then this is the last one that should be like this okay boom Okay, I'm starting to understand that it's the orientation that throws me off so far with all of the buttons. It's the moment, like I see the puzzle, like I see the answer in, in every single one of your maps. I see it, and then the moment I leave that room, it's like you spin it in a circle, and I, I have no idea which way I'm facing. Um, but there, it kind of makes sense. Like if you think about it, like I'm here on the map, so this is the map, right? So this is my room, I'm in here that's where it starts to click but sometimes just because of how full the mini map can be it's uh hard to make up make that out all right let's get my flashlight out here uh grab some health too Get out of here again. Oh, it's at the end. It's at the end. It's at the end. It's at the end. I don't know what that hand did. Oh, there's another one. more scuba in there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that was probably the one over there, but what did the that one do then? Nice little shortcut, I guess. Who's doing that? We should. <sighs> okay, okay, another one, another one bites. Okay, we got a lot of two buildings left. I'm We'll find out. You've been keeping. I haven't actually counted how many buildings are down here, or how many have cleared. Okay, so where is the button? So if I'm if I'm looking this way, that's where the buttons are. I'm looking that way. So I'm looking that way. Hit. 
It's just opposite. It's okay, it's just opposite. It's just opposite. Let's hit. That does it. We still have scuba in here, so we can remember that in case we need more scuba. I'm assuming he was on top. starting to understand the logic a little bit better. Makes it a little bit easier for me now. I know there's a scuba in here behind that guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is definitely a lot longer than your last map. Uh, but it's just because there's different areas. Let, uh, I don't, I don't think I'll need to save this one, right? Just in case. So it's not hit, 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 not hit. One, two, one, one, two, one. One, two, wait, no, one, two, one, one, two, one. One, two, one, one, two, two, two. I don't know if I'll remember that. One, two, one, two. Oh crap, I don't know, I don't remember the direction. Look at that. Nice. One, two, one, one, two. Is that always there? Was that always there as a secret? Or... Wait, was that a secret? I haven't really noticed or been paying attention to when I've been, uh, I've been getting them. Is there anything else in here? Other than that scuba? A bathroom. Went down there, went down there. Got that door out. Um, oh, does that count as a secret? I don't think so. Who's doing that? Oh, there's two. Oh, there's two. I kind of need... 
the the shrink ray flashlight get through this area. Like I have night vision. Oh, and that blew a hole. That's kind of cool. I didn't even notice that. That's really neat. How how connected everything is. Okay, how do we get in here then? What is how are we gonna break in here? Okay, there's a hole in there. So we do need to get up top. So we're gonna go over here. And then we gotta go on here. Then, get in here. Hail to the king, baby. Ooh nice. Now I just gotta get back through. Um. Hmm. So I think... I think that's all of them, right? We went through there, we went through there, unless there's like another hand that we're missing. Doesn't look like you would be able to get on top of there. There's anything unless it's really hidden. So it might just be stuff up top now. Did I go to the second floor on that? Like I I had to, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. But it looks like you can get on top of there. So I jump down there onto there. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Secrets on these walls. Groovy. Groovy. Aha. On its roof. Are we talking about right here?
Was there another one? Screw it. On its roof, like I, I don't know why I feel like I just maybe I was thinking seeing a, a drawer. Ruby. Wait. Okay, so that that opened that. So I have one more secret area. Oh wow, we're doing really good. Because even this, some of the ones we hinted you hinted at, I I kind of anticipated there's going to be something secret related. the broken area like the one I just passed chat's a little delayed so sometimes I don't know I might I've already found the thing you're you're hinting at here Unless you mean the broken area on the top. Doesn't look like I can get on top of there. Got that. up top gotta be up top unless that like because that doesn't look like a broken area so don't i'm not really thinking that as a broken area we haven't any had anything that i had to blow up yet usually i'd have one of those um <clears throat> connecting the uptown oh that pipe Um, okay. Um, okay, I didn't miss it. Okay. Because I was worried because I didn't actually do the, the way you wanted me to with the uh, trip mines going down. Because I, I, I did... I just assumed there's going to be water there. I don't know why. I was like, I saw the floor, and I'm like, um, that that must be one of those drawer glitches. Um, so we might have to change some settings in a minute here. I didn't realize where I was coming out. That's that was my bad. I'll save right here. Uh, these ways to get there is to get near the exit, then jump down to the start, and then go from the downtown area the same way you did the first time. Yeah. So I'm gonna save right here. We're gonna just just do it. I don't think I'll need any ammo or anything. Um. 
Yeah, see, this is what the lighting looks like. And it's it's running fine now, but granted, I did kill everybody. So now we can kind of see what it would look like. I wish there was a shortcut back up. But it is cool. Like, I, I do like the visual being able to see all these layers, right? The difference between like a super detailed map and then this is just mechanically interesting to be put together with the uh, chore layers but it's i still think it, it pulls off the super mario aesthetic pretty well like it, it matches up from at least what i've seen of it da, 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 da. Maybe I'll do a separate save here. Thanks for joining. Oh no. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Always glad to have people. Um, hmm. So I'm assuming it's not there. So it's, it's down there? Ah, there it is. Come get some. So what triggers this? Is it like the blue key card? In the original Super Mario 64 course, it was just barely possible to jump into downtown pipe entrance from the nearby building with the red roof. The jump is just barely possible in this map as well. You might know that already, depending on which route you took to get here. All right, 64 because It was just barely possible to jump into the downtown pipe area from the nearby building. The red roof. Hmm. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Okay, so I could have jumped. From there. Back to here. I don't know if my yeah I could see how you could do it I'm not going to I'm not going to all right let's get a let's officially beat the map now 100% secrets I'm very proud of that Bam. We lost 10 troopers to the ethereal realm. I thought we were actually going to see, like, oh, I guess you're just, a lot of the lore you are adding is, is to explain differences that aren't from the original. Sometimes I think it's implying of a, like, a big puzzle of raising and lowering of watering levels, water levels. Oh, 
but that was that was uh wet dry world everybody so that was the main map of the day um i'm gonna do something here just gotta load something real quick Um, only because, uh, here, I'll do this. I'm going to post a, a link in the chat here. trying to switch my screen but Um, only because we got, um, it, it kind of ended up being pretty, pretty swell timing here, but the Toilet Duck also ended up releasing a new map too, called Shifting Sandland. So uh, I'm not playing that today, I'm going to save it for another day as well. So he's gone on, uh, but I just wanted to point that out here because I didn't know that was coming out and it kind of convenient timing that uh, I was going to play this today. And then he ended up releasing this like three days ago. So uh, you can also check out that map. The link of, to the map we just played though is in the description below. And let me, let me see what, what I want to do here for time. Um, here while I'm I want to do one last map. I have a reserve of maps just in case uh, because sometimes things take a little while. I bet you the other map that I had chosen might not be as long. I gotta remember what they are.
Uh, last piss time was the uh, other one I had chosen out for, um, like, to be honest, a couple streams ago. Um, but then we had some new releases come out, so we focused on those ones first. So we might do that one, because I, I think that's older, so I don't think it's going to be as long um, in my mind. But who knows? I could be wrong. You know? I could be wrong. Um, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another brief break here. I'm going to just to use the bathroom, do some refreshments. I'm going to get my order ready because as is tradition, it's Saturday, so order some pizza. Um, and then I can be right back with you and we'll do that map. We'll do last piss time and that will be not quite end the stream because we'll, we'll have a little chat afterwards and maybe plan out next week. And then we'll we'll go, we'll, we'll get, give her, get her in we'll there. But I'm I keep putting this map off, off, and I don't know much about it. Um, other than it's older, so this is a much, much older map than the ones we've been playing recently.
not back yet. I'm just I place the order. Another five minutes. Not because it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna grab something. Put it back. Then we'll do the map.
guys. Just a little, little, little beats here. But uh, in the meantime, let me do this. I was thinking about Aquatic Hive, which is another one I, I've shown a screenshot of. Uh, but then I read a little snip, synopsis, synopsis, or snippet maybe, um, where they have multiple endings. And that sounds pretty ambitious. the um do the screenshot of Mavara. No cat, no cat. Stop trying to destroy everything. That'll do, pig. That'll do. It's such a great movie. Pig's got spirit. <clears throat> Screenshots.
I don't know what that truly means now that I'm thinking about it. The last pissed time. Like, is this the last time I'm getting pissed? I'm trying to kind of figure out how to word that into a tweet. Or is he reminiscing about the last pissed time? To an internal game function. Oh my god. I haven't read the readme yet. I'm trying to... I wonder if that means the whole thing's a reference. Uh... Okay, let's go through this readme. You guys have had a little bit of a time to uh, already see it. So, um, I guess I can open eduke just for all. Just because it also also counts as background. Text. Uh, features lots of sprite work. Tricky. When is this from? 2009. 2000. He was 18 year old, years old when he, he, uh, when he made this. He accomplished way more than I did. Um, LE built. I do know of LE built. I know there that other other stuff existed. We're not going to read this, but um, just out of curiosity's sake, because you know history is fun. just some stuff on Ellie build so it's a different editor I'm assuming they nobody develops it anymore and like you have your offshoots I, I don't even say offshoots because that means they're kind of related but you have your modern day stuff like GE build or GE do GZ doom which now has enhancements that you can pretty much recreate Duke Nukem stuff in it I'm very very limited knowledge with all these other editors I kind of know some of them like Ray's, I know as a source port, but maybe it doesn't have a letter level editor. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I remember Duke Nukem had a history of them as well. So I've seen this name, but I've never known what it looked like. Um, this probably has that reference in there. But anyways, that's what it looked like. 
I don't, I don't know what the difference here is. Like, this is weird. Excessive? Huh. Very retro. Very retro. Well, I guess nowadays. Um, okay, so. Like another build map. So this probably had pretty good sprite limits for its day. There's no visibility haze, but before the map exceeds the original Duke limits, it must be played with E Duke. Okay. Um, oh no. Um, that's uh, during around the toy that makes noise. Um, some sprites and uh, mask disorder may be observed due to engine issues. The game may occasionally crash. Okay, that's good to know. Play this in classic software mode, so we will do it. They want 640 by 480. I'll have to compromise and not do that. I probably would play in uh, full screen more. Maybe I made a little overlay. I don't know what people... I, I feel like it's one of those things that maybe if you grew up with it, you like it. But I wonder if people nowadays they're just going to just... Uh, map statistic. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Checking out my pizza time. It's still 13 minutes. Um, so it didn't tell me, did it tell me anything about the map itself, or did I just? I learned about how the map was made. You don't have to do that, by the way. I'm just. Uh... So I'm going into this blind. Oh, let's change the music. Uh, what do we want? One, one. Nah, let's do streets. I kind of want to die. Kill me. We'll try this again. With full health, though. I don't know if this will fit this map. I know nothing about this map, but we'll find out. I just don't want death toll again, you know? I feel very tall right now. I feel very tall. That's cool. Nine secrets. Why do I feel so hit? It's so huge. Oh no. Uh, come here. Uh, I'm gonna need him to shoot this, I feel. Okay. Oh, we can go in here. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Is he using. Okay, yeah, sprites. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I wanna switch. Switch. Oh my god. I don't I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Really? Is that like I'm trying to see what they were uh, right? It's crazy but how because he wanted it in classic. But classic seems too much. Like it's kind of weird. 
Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna do polymost. We'll do polymost. There's some things uh I don't know. They did say they wanted um classic though. Maybe it's because of the perspective. I feel more appropriately sized, actually, in classic. Like, I, I still feel weird, but... And I guess maybe you do want it to be this hazy. We'll give it a go. They did make the map, after all. Oh, maybe we can clear the fog out. Okay. Right. Oh, he's free. He's free. Where am I? I really needed him to shoot this. Oh, I'm dead. oh no, I didn't save. I didn't save. Oh, you don't. So what I'm going to do is I want I want the commander to blow up this wall. I want him to blow it up. So I need to set him free. That was really cool. I kind of like that. Yeah, you're free now. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh my god, I can't stand you. Oh my god, can you please? Can you please? Did it work? Yeah, it worked. We can do that smoother. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get the gun. And then we... Oh, God. Come on, let me in. Oh, my God. No! Why were you so sensitive? I felt like you went down with, like, nothing. All right, let's try that again. Was there pipe bombs in here? Am I, am I just overcomplicating this? I know. I'm gonna, I just feel like this is a secret. It's gotta be. If I blow this thing up, and there's just a health kit behind there. I would be so disappointed. No, 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 no. Let's stop this. Stop this. Nobody said you could get this close. Nobody. Can you not? Why? What? Jeez. I'm so upset that there's a pipe bomb somewhere right close by. Come on. 
<laughs> Stop it! Sky. Oh, my piece is almost there. Oh, no, it is here. Okay. Uh, watch him kill me while I run and grab it. Okay, everybody. Um, where am I now? Just trying to get out of here for a second. I get half a piece of garlic bread that I'm chewing. I don't know. I'll be focusing on this. I do like that fog effect. I, I don't know how they did it where they it expanded. You know? Like, probably a moving platform. I don't really understand how that stuff works yet. So I think of it like pulleys. Weird, I can see little things on the outside already. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And this wasn't his first map, right? So we did see he made other maps. Okay, back to my strategy of trying to get this guy. Wait, let's just.
this is what he wanted us to play it in. I just... I kind of want to know. He wanted 600 by 480. Oh, that's kind of chunky. I kind of like it. This is, this is what this guy wanted us to play it as. Maybe I'll make a little monitor uh, overlay. And if some if a, a map requests this, uh, we'll play it like that. We'll go deep down the rabbit hole. But not today. Um, okay, so we want to get that. I do want to... I, I'm pretty sure that's a secret. We're all, all in agreements. That's a secret. I'm going to comment on something else in a minute. I need you to really behave. Did it work? Did, did my plan work? Oh no, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, oh. Maybe we won't. Maybe we will play it his way. See, I'm conflicted because I think this fog effect works better in classic. I don't think, it, like, I, I think Polymost gives me a better... Um, now, obviously, he didn't build it with this in mind. Probably most, I think, gives me better performance. Yeah, I get way better performance with Polymost, but it looks the weirdest for this map specifically. Um, so, if we go classic. Oh my god, guys, I got lost in a, a sea of settings yesterday trying to kind of calibrate my TV. Before I played my PS5, then I barely ended up playing any anything on PS5. Because I was just so tired in the end. So, okay, my... I'm going to be honest. This secret wasn't worth it. I got an atomic health. Do you know how much health it took me to get this? I'm not gonna try it again because I thought well, I could, I could, I could pee. Uh, and oh wait, this is not gonna work. I just realized it's very tiny for you guys. Um, give me a second here. <laughs> this is the stream for ants. There we go. Anyways, yeah. I think this sprite effect works way better in classic than Polymost. So it looks like that's where we just were. Is it this something's up with that? We want yeah. So we wanna see I wanna see what's in the other ones, or is it just this one that works? Okay, yeah. And I like how there's a at least it's kinda hard to see, but the, the light shines on this so you see it easier. Was there anything else in here? Well, cool, got a secret. Spent longer in that one room than I anticipated. Interesting choice for sound for that door. Can you layer sounds? Like, could I play two at one? then I might change.
I just, I just feel like that's a weird... Yeah, there's some nice little little details going on here. I wonder if I can break that. That's definitely a little inlay, but it might just be... I even like this, because instead of just having a crack in the wall, it's like collapsing inwards. It's um, a nice little use of slopes, I think. You know what I mean? It's it's just, I don't, I don't actually see people doing, I guess, a slanted that kind of cave in like this very often it's just usually a chunk is missing which is fine it's a, just a nice little approach now this is where i'm like oh i didn't even notice that crack that goes actually all the way down here i guess that's the easiest way you might be able to do it but still um fill out that. Did we try that door that was right there? This one? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. I'm going to shrink and have to run down there and go in there. That's what I have to do. Okay, let's not go down there yet. Does this open? And something's here. Like, this is going to pop up and do something. Is that, like, I don't know, maybe a key card exit. I'm maybe I'm overthinking. Even these little rebar things. It's a uh, nice little touch, you know? Is that a good thing? I like these doors. Very nice hallway. Oh. So we got some sprite water. Loading key card. Oh, I'm liking this. This is nice. It's nice in a, a different kind of way. Interesting. Okay, we can go down. Got a sense of multiple paths going on here. Rockets beside a crack. Usually I'm used to pipe bombs don't have any right I like ooh, look at these guys it's just a that's a nice way to do a wall too I just don't know why they're missing here I guess maybe they're still building this sector I don't I don't know where I am like I, <clears throat> am I on the move am I underwater whoa whoa Shrink down there too. I don't know if they're like expecting me to do that weird jump where you can. Because that feels more of like an exploit than a thing you're supposed to do. Um, I kind of like this room too. Yeah. I'm not getting caught too much. So I don't. It's not cumbersome to like walk around in. What? What is this? Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. I see. I, which, which part can I shoot through? Nothing? Wait. Maybe I'm just not supposed to shoot through it. Oh, look at this. Oh. 
this is <laughs> out of context. This is such a, such a ridiculous reaction to something so trivial. I'm like just staring at a wall, and it's it, like it's a wall. It's a wall. But. Pretty smooth. Is that what the would this be considered build porn? Is that what what we would consider that? And this too. This is very quakey. This gives me quake vibes. I like this though. Uh, your ultimate Duke. Your ultimate Duke, Duke Nukem level editor. I like this though. This is cool too. Hmm. Nice. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's the right phrase. Yeah. Look at this month. What is happening here? What What are we doing here? What was? Is, is this a thermometer? Is this how this got brought up? One seven one. What is it? What are we going to do? What are we going to do here? Look at this. Where is it? What is happening? Oh, and I always I do like these. Okay. Drink. Get key card. That's what I'm assuming it says. Okay, I still think we need a. Uh... I open? No. That doesn't open. And that doesn't work. Oh. Is this an addition? Is this an addition? Okay, wait. So let's do 128. That's too much. So 60. We do 68. So we need it. 68. It's too much. It's too much. Let's do this. 28. 16. 42. We gotta drop this, maybe do a 64. And what is this guy? This guy. It's 90. I don't know if I want a 90. That feels like. Hi. Oh, I ate a lot. That was good. Can you bring me a garlic bread, please? Excuse me. No, do you want a pizza? No, just garlic bread. So, I feel like we're not going to get there through that either. Maybe we will. Oh. 
should have killed her. Um. I like how realistically. Stop. Nope. Cat. Nope. Cat. We're just dressing up a switch puzzle, right? That's what we're doing. That'd be that guy. So that's one sixty. Oh. Oh, what, what am I doing? So I'm just eat, I'm eating my garlic bread. Is that it? So that's one. So that over here. 160. So that's 168. one. That's that's 171. Oh, do I have to look in there? Maybe I have to look in there. Oh. Oh, I was supposed to do something. That I was supposed to do something. I thought I just had to solve that. Um, that's cool. Oh, a ladder. Man, I I don't know. Oh. Oh. This map is adorable. Look at that tiny screen. Look at that. There's a button. Okay, it's showing me a button. Wherever that is. Man, that's some nice looking detailing. Like, it's tiny, but I, I, I just... It's so interesting. Okay, can I jump on that? I'm using, used to MSB being on the left rather than the right. Oh, is that different? like that. Do you think they have a secret in there? I don't know if you... I'm hearing like a heartbeat faintly. Okay, so that's a future me problem. But we do got a red key card. I don't remember where that's for. We're gonna go back down here. <clears throat> oh, I tried to mute myself so I wouldn't cough, and uh, I failed. Because we got that thing, that um, that grate down there. Still haven't gone down there either. But we're gonna go down here. Oh. Oh. Well, we found it. Okay. Man, that's a. That's an interesting way to connect this, because this, yeah, 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 it's like a, maybe an elevator? Oh, nice. Oh, I, for 
forgot all about you guys. I'm gonna be upset if I'm gonna need. Oh, well, you know, because I'm thinking about the um, the Overlord, the Commander. Sorry, uh, and how we needed him to get to that secret. Okay, so that's for that. It's time to abort your whole friggin' species. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Sprite button, I'm assuming. I don't think it's voxel. Yeah, it's a sprite button. I can see what it is. Oh, kind of neat. They're, like, marking these secrets. Because you would kind of have a seam. I think you don't need it. But it's a neat way of having a, a different style to it. I like this door, too. Couldn't go through... There couldn't go through there. Okay, let's go down. Now, I know we could use the red key card, but there's... To join the stream this whole time. To be dying on me. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I still don't know what this does yet. Like, I feel like it's like an alarm. Um... Which I probably shouldn't be pressing. We're gonna have to get some rockets, so. I guess the only option I really do have is to use the uh, red key card. I like that. That's nice. Hello, welcome. I wasn't expecting all of them to open. It is, it is very, I would almost argue it's timeless. Okay, we got it. What was the second secret we got? Oh, the uh, atomic health. Atomic health. What did that button do? What did that button do? Seeing if there's any uh, little detail I'm missing. Uh, we did not play Shifting Sands yet. No, we played. Uh, I said I was good. I, did, I had no idea that was even coming out. So we did Wet Dry World. Uh, that took a while. And so I said I'll, I'll, I needed something shorter. And then I chose this, but I don't think, I don't know if this is going to be shorter either. Um, okay, so we got, what did the red door do? Did it clear out the fog? 
It didn't clear out the fog. That'd be cool if it did. What, what else was it? Why was there so many... Why was there so many angles at this? Why did I have to see that? It just makes me think that, like... Were they connected? Was there something else in one of them? Where am I? There's nothing in them. Yeah, yeah, last bit time is the second map. I don't know why I'm seeing things out of order myself. Yeah, so we did wet, dry world. And uh, maybe now that button does something? the water levels. Okay. Which means something. Okay. Oh, I can I can swim across there. Oh. I can see beyond that. So maybe that yellow key card. Yeah, this is pretty. I'm gonna. Like, I'm doing all this little stuff. It's already impressive. I wonder if there's different things at different heights. I like this play on heights, and I, even even this, where it's going just big, high enough where it's in the um, in the vent, is a nice little touch. Where is it? So we did that one. So now we can shrink ourselves if we want. So let's do. Let's do those guys that we needed the shrinker for. So there is one in there. I don't know how I would shrink in here. Just yet. Uh, let me see. Is... Yeah, that's not reflective. We're just testing out reflectivity I guess they'd want me to do like shoot it all the way over there so but first we'll deal with uh, the one that's closer I'm assuming you want to do that so that was right here I could have got in and out. That's my fault. I thought there was something else there I didn't notice. It was just reflective to say, oh, if you get stuck here, we'll let you out. We'll let you out. Okay, so we'll redo that. I don't want to use two. A what? Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, you can't pick it up when you're small.
Okay. So now we want to get inside here. So we're gonna save here. I don't I just don't want to waste ammo. Uh, let's turn run mode off. Yeah, you still gain more, but I just, you know, I would have would liked to save it. Oh, no. Yeah, I gotta be, I gotta be inside of it. Is that it? That. I wonder if I have to be out there, like right here. Because I don't fall through. Oh, see it, but then I fall through that, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, my... <laughs> like, I, I kind of want to loop it around so it, go it goes here. And it goes around it. So I kind of need to shoot at more of an angle, but I don't really have a ton of room to wiggle. Right? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Is that what you're thinking? Maybe I have to... Oh, you know what? Here. I gotta do it out here. That'll give me time to... Uh... My god. No, there's no way. Oh, so you gotta do okay, you gotta do it in here. So you gotta be it's only at an angle you can do in here. Cause you gotta be in position. I need to be on... And this is not the secret? This is this is the way they want me to go? I think there's gotta be a
It's gotta be a... Do any of those work? No, none of them work. Okay, okay. It's such a tiny mirror. I don't think I'm I'm really Yeah, see that's not gonna work. Watch this not even be the way. I'm thinking. It's a little, little too much. Yeah, now we're cooking with gas. I got it. no. I gotta time it even more. So we got the right idea. We got the right idea. So we gotta be this way, but we gotta be right there. We gotta get ready to party. Okay. In the moment, you don't think of those things. In the moment, you just let, just let your body do what your heart says. In this case, it was wrong. And I died from it. But... God, is it just, is it disappearing? You, like, is it because I'm too far away? You think? That was a nice little, nice little, I don't, it, I hope, what's this? That was a, that was, that was tough. I like these little designs too, like this. Sure. 
Circus. Come on. Don't you dare say things like that. Don't you dare say, say things like clock doesn't... Oh god, the clock's working. It's not accurate to my time, but it's accurate to a time. Look at this, look at this, even this little detail here. That's a stack though. That is a that is like an omnibus of porn. Oh, that's a good So now you got me thinking. Now you got me thinking. You got me thinking. I can do things. Switcher. Being me, I didn't notice the ceiling when I first played this map. I, I can understand. Oh. Oh, what a weird looking button. That's interesting. I'm not going to go down there yet. A lot of shiny stuff. Okay. Oh, I didn't even really look at that. That's pretty cool too. Like, there's a lot of cool things that are happening in this room. You're, you're all right. It's a little overwhelming. There's a missing button here. Do I need to find the missing button? Okay, so everything but one. <laughs> Using the film canisters as um, burners is pretty good. I like that stool as well. It's nice. Let's go upstairs. Ooh. Ooh, that's some moody lighting. Look at this door. And that. That's some nice, nice looking doors. Oh, that's a, that's some shading. I think this is the only thing I kind of don't like. It's just, the, just this floating little ball. Otherwise, like, maybe a lamp there, something. So now we can go up here. Oh, that's that's nice. I feel like they should open together, though. Nope. I don't know if that, if that was the right choice, but we went with that. Look at this little bar. Oh, there's a little button. That's switching the picture. I don't know what that means. These little chairs are nice too. Oh, it just... Just because it's glitching, I'm, I'm wondering if it's is there was something below it. These are nice too. Very nice, very nice. That 
little stool. Oh, that's are you using the icicles? That's clever. I never thought of doing something like that. That's nice. I want to say that does more than than just change that picture. Oh. Look at that. Got is there a stool? What are we using to make that? Like I know it's broken glass. And then you got the, the Battle Lords um grenades. But what is the um what is this? Like I wanna say stool, but I don't see the, the seat. Oh, it could be that, um, that mask wall. There's a little edge one, and they stretched it out and just changed the color. And then the freezer for the star. Again, they're doing this, doing this, uh, same thing that they did with the other one, in a way. But, uh... showing off the bow of the pirate ship the bow of the pirate ship nice little air hockey table proton that's very nice look at that look look at that extra it's like a deluxe uh one Deluxe, I'm just gonna say pinball, pool table. Ah, a little bit, of, a little bit of reflectivity there. Works well. Do you think that does anything else? opening that. Hi. I'm not done I'm not done looking. Wait wait, what's down here? Oh, I guess that's that's the health. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Yoga? Are they doing yoga?
Sorry, I just had a... I don't know if maybe that just means I have to explode it first. Let's look uh let's look around. There's more stuff we can do, right? Yeah, it went a little wild. showing off at this point, right? Like, we're definitely showing off. Like, even this stuff. Look at this. Look at this crazy sprite stuff. Look at that. Look at that. What will you do? What do you mean? What, what, do, you, what do you mean? Are we going to have an existential crisis during this map? It's going to drive us insane? I, I know it's from The Simpsons, because I, I definitely remember it from, um, even when they referenced the original game, but I, I, like, I mean, why reuse that reference? Um, I guess it could just be just general graffiti, but I, I, everything felt so intentional that I didn't know if it was, I'm supposed to pay more attention to it as a, a hint at something that might be in the map. was trying to tell me. Because I flipped this. Do I have to jump across, maybe? can't jump across. Or can you if you just jump across those? Um, oh, I guess I didn't go up here. 
Like, I, I'm not even thinking about... <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't even thinking about the fact that spaces are existing on top of each other. It's like... Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're doing this probably to teleport, maybe? I'm just, I'm just thinking of maybe we, uh... Missed a secret. So I'm assuming that now opens up this. What if this opens? move to have a bathroom there. I would have it not hollow or uh, holographic there. Holographic. Transparent. So it's a one way. If this is like, oh, the supervisor can watch you even when they're taking a the shit. Get back to work, you slacker. Cool, cool, cool. That's a cool way of just making these black. Check yourself. Which direction is it spinning? Leftwards? Rightwards? Huh? That me that was a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest. Five. Something's happening here. I could fit underneath here. So I could fit under there. I need to shrink. I'll save because I actually don't know if I'm... This is the, the right way to... Oh.
Levent. Okay, well, go back in here for now. Administration center, personal workstations, air conditioning center. I don't know what that unlocked. But it was showing the video of these guys. Ah, oh, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. 6 4. Interesting, interesting. Oh, nice. It's not like a traditional elevator, it's a sprite elevator. They're always a little wonky on the way down, but you know. that pig tank and lock them in. That's what I gotta do. Toast it. Open yet? Don't have the key card. So this gives us access to this. Where is it? Showed us two doors. don't really remember if I remember where they all are. Is this one open? No. This one? No. Where is it? Maybe I should go get that health. Oh, wait. Do I have uh, anything explosive? No. Okay. Does that unlock? The key card for the other place. Am 
Wait, yeah, we did that. Where was the outside? We saw like an outside area. That's red. After a few days of R and R, I'll be ready for more action. After a few days of R and R, I'll be ready for more action. Okay. Where is it? I don't know what that means. Do this again. You know what? I have more health. That's that's the positive of the situation. So we gotta do. I want to. I, I want to hit that door again. I don't know if that's uh, something I have to do, or if that's actually something you shouldn't do. Like, um, Oh, come on. I was doing... Th these didn't hit. A lot of these weren't hitting. Though. That wasn't as effective. worth it guys daylight simulation system model 2 1992 oh that's cool so we're like uh we're going retro feature here that looks like it's gonna slide This is very, very tiny. Like, it's impressively built, but it is it is the one negative. Uh, like, it's easier, I guess, with the run mode off. But, uh... You get, you get, um... You get stuck and stuff, you know? But it's also still cool to see. Like, that's a nice-looking TV. Um... I like the idea of this daylight simulator. It gives me it reminds me of like Fifth Element. His apartment. That looks like it opens, right? We Maybe it just doesn't do it yet. I'm like Maybe there's a button somewhere I'm missing.
Yeah, he's they're going crazy with the sprite work. Batman? This is the aim, and this is shoot. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So we want, first we'll do this. And so it go bounce. So we want this to bounce here. Does it want me to tilt it while it's moving as well? Or do these... Is that what we're doing? Oh, and we got these ones too. Okay, okay. I forgot about these. I, I forgot about these. Wow, this is this is a little intricate. We want it to bounce up. Where do we want it to go? I guess we want it to come back here, right? But why? Why do I want it to come down here? Other than that's what it's telling me to do. So I want to switch these. So, because it, it would bounce here, bounce here, bounce here, bounce here. this to switch.
I screwed up. No, I had that right. No. Oh, 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 wait, wait. I forgot I have to do this. And then this. Then this. So th that'll go hit. Hit, 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 and then... We're so close. Maybe I can't do it the way I'm thinking. Okay, that's this is how I want it. And then I think maybe we're good. No, we need we need to move this still. No, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Always lovely to have everybody. I see. Shoot, shoot, shoot.
then I'll go up here. I'd want to really try to get this one. here, bounce, bounce, up here, so like, it's, it's going up here, bouncing, 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 and if we could get this, to bounce there, This is a tough one. This is a difficult, difficult journey. Um, like, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's, it's just this. So then once I flick this, this will go down there, and then I'll go down there. That's it. No, it's not. It's that. It's that one still. These ones, if I flip this, these ones are okay. These ones were exactly where I want it to be. So I need to figure out how these ones are gonna go. So this one has to go here. Because I need to be able to do it with one flick. Uh, 
No, we want it here because when we hit that switch, it's going to flip it. It's this one we want to change. Because we want it to end up in the opposite space as well. No. This one we want to stay the same. Because we want it to bounce this light up here, right? So we bounce it there. Because this has to be in this position. This bottom left one has to be in this position. Because it has to bounce off here into there. There's no way we can bounce anywhere else. So this has to be the end point. So we've got to kind of work backwards, maybe. And so this, 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 bounces here. What do you look like? So you could bounce there, bounce there, bounce there, bounce there. So it's really just this one we need to, uh, That somehow do it? Like, I want to grab this, but I don't know how that worked. Somehow I did it. But I think I, I tricked it. There's going to be a secret there. That was an interesting puzzle. Even though I think I didn't solve it properly, I think I understood it at the end. Okay, so now I have the rockets. I can break through that uh, barrier. Trying to get some health here. Why not? was out there. kind of weird that that's uh, doing the um, switches when it looks like there's food. It's a food place.
That dot there. Elevator, which was this way, I think. Yes, wait, this way. In case you never know. I keep seeing these little, the, they're probably nothing, but. Scrappy do. Oh. Interesting choice of sound there as well. Where did that come from? Was there a box there? Oh, now that opens up? Okay. Oh, do I have to do this back of the math thing, maybe? Okay, so 30 plus 17 times four. So you got uh, 47. Four. Try to do it all in my head. smarter. Well, my memory doesn't let me remember the one I just did. If I write it out, I know I can do it. Is that what I'm doing? 188. One 
88. That's one eighty two. So it's 160, 176. So 188, right? Okay, so that, that's what we want as the code. I don't know if that works like this. We're going to find out. I wasn't expecting this, uh, this to get to like this at all. I was like, oh, this will be a quick little romp maybe. Am I doing that wrong? 30 plus 17 times 4. about it to That's 98. But then my calculator says not 90, yeah, 98, but like it. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with math today. Wait, wait, I'm gonna go down here. Did we do it? Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, 
Where are just these guys, right? They're trying to tell me something. I like these. These are real nice. Either two, three, six, eight, two, seven. Power, supply, engine status, property of Driston Subterranean Research Station. Nominal sixty three seven. You will level offline. to take out of that. I don't know what else where else we haven't been per se. I don't know how to get to him. I don't I don't know what to do in here. Unit three two Three two six three eight two seven. Unless that's telling me to go interact with the apartment doors in that manner. Three two six three eight two seven. That sounds a little ridiculous. going in there. Still haven't gotten through there. of going in that room is yet because this isn't working we can't do this I feel like there's something I'm missing here still.
So we could shrink down here. But we can't fit under there. So how do we turn that off? We go through there, but how do we get to there? the door we don't have access to yet. I'm supposed to fit through here. I don't, I don't think I am. That doesn't feel right either. No, because I just fall. So I don't think that... And I can't get through the barrier. But it's just, this seems so weird. That you're making me fall down here for no reason and is there a button down there I can hit do with that information. this. That's going to be cool when we do figure out a way to get to it.
there's that button right there and like so I'm gonna get in there yet What does that mean? What does this mean? What will you decide? Now this is open. I don't know what it means. Power supply engine status. Output current. Fuel level, output voltage. The map's kind of connected, but not quite connected convenient enough because these elevators take a while to go through. So, it, like, right now where I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. Like, I need that yellow key card, but I can't figure out how to get the yellow key card. I need him to hit it, but I need to get in there to do that. But to get in there, I need to do something here, but nothing here is interactable. I can't interact with anything. So, I don't know how to get the fuel line fixed. I don't know what these do. 
I understand that's where the yellow door is. What do I do to get the yellow car? Maybe there's a secret in there. That's still foggy, so that's not usable. Still does something. Nothing in here. Like we'll we'll look. Ah, uh, okay. I need explosives to get through here. Oh no, I didn't. where I'm supposed to be going. I have no idea how to unlock anything else. I am completely... Like, I know of rooms I need to go to. I have things I've, I've done, but I don't I don't understand what they do. No idea. Like that? No idea. No idea. I hate it, I hate it. Cause I'm so close to something, but I don't know how to get past it. I 
what is the point of this room? What was the point of this? What was the point? There's a vent there. missing <laughs> job progress for Getting utterly baffled here. Like, as impressive as this map is, I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. Like, I have no idea what this is. Uh, no idea what's happening here. I have no idea. Um,. I, I, I am baffled. I am absolutely baffled. And there's nothing up over there. I am absolutely clueless. Like maybe I'm just too tired? Like, I feel like I had a clear understanding of most of the puzzles, even if they took me a little while to, like, do the math or whatever, because it's silly and doing them in my head um but this i don't know what to do like I, I don't know what i'm supposed to make out of this like this is a button i get it but it's a button that i can't i can't hit 
I, I can't blow it up. I... Um, and then there's... These don't work. There's nothing else in here. I can't open that door. I need the yellow key, but I don't know. I like the yellow key. I have no concept of how that's where that's going. Where's that coming from? Don't I have no idea what that does. No idea what that does. No idea how to get in here, no idea how to get in there. That's the only thing I can think of, but I don't I don't know what that means. Like thirty two six three eight two seven. I, I can't make numbers that high. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Oh, he said, okay. They said turn the music off. See if I can Nothing, nothing here. Sorry, I gotta try to figure out how.
I don't know what to do. I don't understand what to do. Uh, we have a map of view, couple external readers. Just trying to process my brain. Oh, come on. It'll be just a nice short map, I thought. Uh, to do to see if anybody has figured out where I'm stuck. RPG. Oh, is that what I'm doing wrong? Am I not realizing I can blow that up? Just wish there was a faster way to get it to certain sections then. Like, it's, uh... Because I have to... 
it just feels kind of odd to get to certain places. Okay, so I go, wait, no. No, no, no. I'm still going, I'm trying to beat this level. I did not expect, I did, had no idea this level was going to be this complicated. Um, and I just hit a wall. Like a, just a brick wall. I was going steady, and then wall. I need to go to the off. I'm, I'm having trouble remembering where places are. How to get there. So I go here. I want to go here. And then what? No, I was just here, so it's not here. Oh, I want to go up here. That's why. Probably doesn't help that this is so puzzle intensive and I'm starting to get exhausted. But okay, so I go to. I go. No. Where's the office? I gotta go to the office. I gotta go to the office. Is that the office? That's the office. No. How do I get to the office? This way. This way. Okay. No, that's not what you do either. What am I doing? I am so confused. Like, I, I know there's places I, I should be able to go. Like, I have no idea how to get in there. I have no idea how to get in there. I have, I know, I got all these weird secrets, but the actual progress, I think I have no idea how to get the yellow key card. I know these boxes are going to be a button thing. I know, like, I don't have to turn this off, do I? Like, why would I? I have no idea what that does. Okay, so that locks that, so I kind of need that open. There's nothing in there. I already did that. I have no idea what to do with this thing. This whole section is just just boggling my mind. Because I, I have this, and I, I can't do anything. I know where the yellow key card is. I have no idea how to access it. Supposedly this key card is important.
No. No, I have no idea what the small box is. Like, I, I, I know they exist, but I have no idea what they're for yet. I have no idea how to open this door. I have to do the temperature thing. Or not the temperature thing. There's an electricity thing where the yellow key card is. But I can't figure out how to activate it. So, like, this. I've Like, I've opened here. I have no idea what this does. Like, this doesn't do anything. Right? So, like, it's, it's, it's just... I, like, I like all the rooms. Everything is designed. I think the way to get to each room is a little not annoying because... Or maybe it's not if I... Like, because I don't know what I'm doing in this room. And I need to get in here to maybe get this key card. I know where that is. But I, I, I don't know how to get in here. I have no idea how to get in here. It doesn't show... I understand this is going to be something, but I don't know what that's for yet. I understand that's the yellow thing. And then, like, if I need to go somewhere to look, it's a mess. Did that button? What do you do? What is this? What are you? hate it because I'm so close. I know I'm so close to the end. And I, I just, uh, I can't, I can't focus on the solution. I can't. My brain is fried. And, the, like, it's so cool, but it's just, like, now it's, like, I'm going up here. I have to go up here. There's the, I have no other way to get up on the second floor. I have no way to get up here that I can find. So I have to take this long way each time. I've already gone down there. I'll lower the water. I don't know if... Oh, but, but I made a mistake, so guess what? I have no way of getting back up there now. So now I have to go all the way up here. I have to use this elevator. I have to wait for it to come down. And I have to wait all this time. Waiting for this elevator. Oh, it's down. Let's wait. Go back up. I'm being overly mean because how exhausted I am. No idea what those do. The only thing I can think of is if I hit this one and the other one at the same time. Maybe this is a timed puzzle. Oh my god, that was it. Oh my god, that was it. I was wondering what those were for so long.
where did you even come from? Oh my god, you know how much energy that just gave me? Like, it just gave j jolt of energy. Just because I, I just, I, I've been smacking my head for so long on that. This was not... Yeah, that wasn't very clear. Uh, okay, so now we got the yellow key card. Yeah, it's like a, it's an old map. It won't be that long. I said to myself, what a silly fool I was. Okay, so now we can go into that pool table. Too bad we can't go in here. I can blow it up, but I can't go through it, I found out. So we'll go through. That echo. Much better. Look at these. It's kind of weird that these are. Did this move? Is that always there? Did I? Go through the other bathroom. hit that. We're going to take a peek, grab some ammo here. I don't know how useful this stuff's going to be, but we're going to find out. Actually, we might save. I wonder if this will open. to do that per se.
What? What? Okay, blue key card. Blue key card. God, I don't I don't remember how to get to the blue key card. That's the only thing. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Did I win? Like, did I do it? Completely sure. Oh, it's repopulated. Okay. These boxes are still something I need to figure out. Come get Blow it out your ass. Wow, we're finally making some progress here. Wait one second. This guy grabs it.
Okay. Grab a slice of pizza. I actually haven't had any yet. So, um, I don't know if that blue, what I'm doing with this blue key card. Do I have the right headphones on here? Okay, so we go through here, through Le Vent. Can't fit in the vent. And now I don't know if that other vent I saw. If maybe I, I was supposed to go through that either when I blew it up where the yellow key card is. So I'm going to come back here in just a second. I'm actually going to save right here. I, there's something I want to do. Um, where was... Because I, I know that Edu can mess up uh, older maps with the... So confusing. I'm so confused at where I'm going. I don't know why. I get. I get. I'm getting so turned around. It's like. Go bed? Okay. What's in here? So I gotta raise this. That's my theory. I guess I don't have to. I, I guess I don't have to, no. I can do this.
right? I just, um, just in case, we'll, we'll see. So that one, I, I wasn't supposed to go through, I guess. Um, this one, a little different. Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to go through this, but I, I can't jump through it. So I'm gonna D and clip. Uh, I don't think those ones do, do they? No. I just do it in the uh I'm gonna save here. I don't Where am I right now? Okay, we're gonna pipe bomb. Okay, now we now we can crash the game. Now we can we can let the game crash. Yeah. This map just doesn't want me to beat it. It's like...
It did warn me this was possible. Huh. How are we going to get past this little issue? So I'm thinking what we do is uh, instead we clip out of it. I don't know if that would make a difference. Weird. What is that? I don't know how I'm going to get through that. I have an idea. Okay, I'm going to save right here. Okay, the, the, the secret, you have to duck. If you try to, if you just walk without ducking, it, I, I'm, you must glitch out of bounds somewhere and just die. That would be great if that opened, but you're not going to open, are you? I don't really understand what's happening there. Like, I'll take it. Launch code required.
Hey, it's Cancer Mouse. Okay, so this is the boxes. This is where we need to figure it out. So, and again, <laughs> this is where we get to do some backtracking. Okay, so this one, uh, five is green. Uh, so five is green. Just because I know I'm going to forget it. Does this stay? Okay, so five is green. I'm not going to run back probably each time, but I don't trust myself. Uh, six is yellow, four is orange. Six is yellow, four is orange. one in here There was another one in here, but maybe not. Is there one in here? is yellow. Four is orange. This still doesn't open. Is there one back there? No. Oh, there's one in uh, yellow room. One is orange? is orange or I guess red that's red and one is I'm assuming red
Where did I see two? What were you again? That was five. Okay, that crashes it. That room crashes it. Does not like that room. Six is yellow. Four is. There's five is. You know what? I took pictures of them. I could just look. That'd be smart, right? Okay, six is yellow, four is red, three is blue. Uh, three is blue. Four is red. One is red. Uh, five is in here. Five is green. The only one I didn't take a picture of is two. Um. Which I don't even know if I saw one. You don't need to. Like I, I know I could just trial and error. All right, we'll we'll, we'll try yellow. Try green. Blue? Okay, we did it. I wonder if there was...
Oh, there's two. I... I don't know if this is like the end though. Like I, I have a few more secrets. I feel like I got pretty good at finding the secrets. Granted, if this was how hard it was to solve some of these puzzles, uh, maybe not the case. Okay, so this is where... Nice, that's a heat lamp, I'm assuming. Oh, refill, okay, so now we can refill that. I see. Well, what else is out here? A medicate means you got more left. Yeah, it does. And... I don't know if... I didn't realize I had no health. I was hoping for a chain reaction. You did not get a chain reaction. lighting. Mm. This is a strange is texture choice here. That's the uh, room that we were in before. We're not gonna hit this pentagram thing. That's cool looking though. That's that's wild. Who wants some? Okay. I like this little house. I thought that was like a... Uh... 
So that was it? Where, where were the secrets I missed then? That's, that's weird to me. Like, I, I, I felt like I... Or was there a different way you could take this? Oh, I can't go back in uh, any other way. Okay, so maybe... Where were the other secrets then? Let's do uh, Dean Crows and Dean Show Map. So we got this stuff. Got over here. These look like they're just, uh, they're just doors. Got that. Got that. No way up there. That'd be great if that did link up, but I don't think it will. Nothing there. Nothing there. <clears throat> so nothing there. That's a fake door. This is technically above here. It's pretty it's really impressive like how much of this is uh kind of feels like it occupies the same space. That's for some shading. Still never figured out what this meant. Uh, 
we did this. We got that one. There's nothing back there. There's nothing ever think anything there. There's no secrets in there. Doesn't look like there'd be a secret down here either. Where is it? Go this way. Nothing in there either. How did we do that, though? How did we open that? M maybe it's timed? <clears throat> then we had this one. I see the clock. But it wasn't that. I don't I don't know what actually opened this at all. Nothing there. I don't think we can actually do anything here. I guess we get it count as a no clip as well, but I mean these are just for show. I can't think of a single place 
Like, we found that one. And then we're immediately up here. It looks like that's the only place where the secrets are in that room. Um, that crashes the game all the time. I think that's where, where we're left and that's pretty much it. I kind of want to see it though. I'll try one more time. And if it uh, crashes again, I'll just call it a day. I was trying uh, to do get keep my streams around like six, seven hours, you know, nine hours. Exhausted. Exhausted. And the thing is, this like this is actually a really interesting map. Like, I, I really do like it, what it's trying to do. I think the layout is confusing, though. Um, or at least the direction to get to certain places, oh, the as nice as everything is to look at, um, Hail to the king, baby. Where is it? Okay, so that's one of them. Was it just one I had to shoot and I just didn't think about shooting it? Okay, we got the duck button. Oh, no, that one didn't like it. That that one didn't like it. I'm still not sure how I how to activate those two secrets that I got. Like the one I'm I'm probably is a shooter, like you shoot it to do it. But the other one, I do not fully no. Maybe it wasn't in here.
I don't know. I don't know. Really don't know. Maybe we have to pay attention to what just lo may like what what loaded. Inch. Inch. Wild. Like I, I don't know where you could you'd find it. Like I could pull up the editor and look through there, but I'm not going to. Um, that's wild. I, I don't know where that last one is. It's probably a little tiny thing I can't see. Well, I crashed the game anyways. I crashed the game. Anyways. So that's probably uh, a good place to just just just, just you know uh, and everything. It was not, it was over nine hours, guys. It was a long time. Um, I should have saved that map for another stream. I had no idea it was going to be that intense. No idea. Like not intense in combat, intense in just um just sheer puzzle craziness. And that was insane. Um my critique there is is just kind of how I mentioned. I think the the layout was fine, but you know how I like how rooms kind of loop back into each other. So you kind of if you're going to have to backtrack, it's simpler. That did have ways back. But the ways back didn't really feel like much of a shortcut because you also couldn't go the way you originally came. So like, for example, when you wanted to go into uh, that nuke room where we have to set it off to end the level, um, you could drop in from the top. But if you dropped in from the top, you can't get back out through the top. So the shortcut you're opening is really just one way out. And so really, there's only one way around the map because if you fall into a like a hole or a segue to get to the part you just fell from or we're at you have to go through the entire thing again like there wasn't any elevators or even that elevator that was there but you have to take an elevator every single time um so i wish i did a different one just because oh i didn't have the energy for for that intense of a map we did it though we did it and so hopefully it worked out for you guys watching now and in the future because I was a little worried that those puzzles were a little stumpy for me for a little bit, but they were interesting, like like a really interesting ways of doing a lot of stuff there again. And from a design point of view, like how things looked, I liked a lot of the stuff. I, I think it looked great. It's just, I it just, everything else was uh, the, the flow of it was a little messy for me. But it definitely a lot of oohs and ah moments. A lot of stuff that I would consider like build port. Just if you you take it in its own little piece, amazing. The mechanics of that, amazing. Um, and so maybe the way it was built, there's no other way to make it more smooth and seamless. Or I mean, like with all that backtracking. But yeah, maybe because I didn't, it wasn't always clear what this was doing or what this was doing that you kind of, I, I started overthinking things and it, a lot of running back and forth. So I, that would have cut back an hour or two of time if, if I could understand the map better. But cool, nonetheless. So I'll see you guys all next week. Um, I'm not sure what maps. Normally I would go through that and choose, but I'm not. I'm exhausted. Um, but it was a, a great little ride. And both maps were cool for inspiration for for a lot of stuff. That second map too, I, I like. I liked a lot of the. I don't want to say necessarily lore, but 
I like the like the setting of whatever they were trying to go with. It was neat. Um, and then wet dry world. It's that's neat for for a different kind of reason. Um, definitely. I was thinking maybe I'd have more platforming, but then again, I don't remember. I don't. I didn't really play that stage. And maybe it's because I'm now interested in like more of a. What would a platforming level look like? We played some of those. But they were still kind of done in the Duke tone. But I mean like full blown. I don't know if it would be good. But either way, I'll see you guys next week. I, I think I'm, I have an idea of what I might do next week. But I'm going to simmer on it for a little bit. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll do, continue that map we start working on. And maybe I'll have some different updates for you guys too. But in the meantime, uh, have yourselves a good weekend, everybody.